by now. Uh, I'm sort of hoping no one is watching at all <laughs> because this has been a bloody disaster. So, <laughs> first of all, thank you for coming despite, uh, despite all this chaos. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen with the background. As you can maybe tell, <laughs> I'm on a holiday and um, I'm sitting in my hotel lobby <laughs> And it's all very chaotic. It's the first time. Um, it's the first time I've uh, started a stream without my tech guy, Vlad, um, there to help me. So I'm not sure what is happening. It would be good actually if people could see you. Let me see. You. Okay, <laughs> and you're back. And um, okay, I'm getting a message from the chat that people can see us, which is good which is at least something. I think I made you appear and disappear a few times there. Um, but hopefully it's all sorted now. So what's going to happen tonight? Um, I think you're going to have to um, bear with my background noise. I will start, uh, try and keep my chest to a minimum. But what is going to happen, uh, as you can see there, is we're going to be playing games uh, on the Chevington account and um, what is going to happen is that David is going to be playing because he's the almost 2700 GM here um, so I think you're more interested in his games than in mine also I tried uh, playing last time actually you gave me a game <laughs> any comment on that game <laughs> And uh, I realized that if I'm going to be streaming more, I really need to work on my chest, well, first off, work on my chest, but also work on um, combining my chest and my talking, because it's a lot more difficult than what I'd expected. Um, okay, I'm just, yeah, I'm just <laughs> noticing. Okay, so. Your voice. Um, what about now? Can you say something? Hello. <laughs> okay, let me see. Hey, sexy. <laughs> oh, guys, you will need to bear with us. Um, this is the very first time, as I said, um, I'm doing this on my own. Okay, it seems like they can hear you now. <laughs> oh, gosh, I shouldn't have said that last time. <laughs> uh, so, uh. yeah, what we were just talking about. I think you weren't really saying anything important, but yeah, I was just making apologies because today has really been a mess. Um, I'm on a holiday. I was hoping to be streaming from my nice and relaxing holiday every day, but nothing has gone according to plan. I came to Greece to get some sun. Um, I've been here for three days. I haven't seen a single sunshine. I haven't been barely been able to get online from my room. So here I am uh, sitting in a lobby with some charming waterfalls in the background. <laughs> but I thought I just needed to um, do something and uh, I'm very glad David has stuck with me through all this chaos. So yeah, uh, to get the stream started, what's going to happen is David is going to be playing, I think, all of the chess tonight. Um, and there is a first question in the chat, so I'll let you, uh, or we can both answer it. There's a question from No Vendry. Um What openings do you think will be played in the World Championship match next month? Oh, I think we'll see a lot of E4, E5 from both colours, for both players, and maybe some Italian games, you know, Gioco Piano things mm -hmm. with Bishop C4, maybe some Berlins, you know, it's going to be so exciting. <laughs> yeah, so uh, do you think we'll see any, do you think Magnus, do you think both of them will stick mainly with E4? Um, I think Magnus will stick mostly, uh, mostly with E4. Um, I think Karyakin might mix it up a bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, he played some cool stuff uh, at the candidates last year with like one knight f3, two e3, and some unorthodox stuff. Mm -hmm. And he prepared it really deeply. So yeah, I reckon there'll be one or two surprises, but mostly some uh, e4, e5 mm -hmm. maneuvering. That's very yeah. serious. 
That's a serious question it's to start serious off with. Question, yeah. But I mean, it's also a serious stream. Like I was just saying to David off stream that I really could do with a drink because I've been sitting in the lobby. I mean, I know it, it looks like I just arrived here and everything is chaotic, but I've spent the last couple of hours in my room preparing the stream and then I've been sitting in the lobby for over an hour. <laughs> um, oh. Then my Fiona. computer let me down, the internet let, let me down, everything uh, basically let me down. But I'm now hoping... Moan, moan, moan. <laughs> moan, moan, moan. <laughs> We're here now. We're Basi here now. Basically, what I wanted to say is that I could do with a drink, which I don't have, but um, might have one after the stream. But anyway... Yeah, uh, I, I wish I could be watching Strictly Come Dancing right now, but <laughs> I sacrificed that, you know, for a couple of hours with you guys. So I hope that's appreciated. Well, as you say, we are here now. So what is going to happen? I've said this about three times now, but David is going to play some chess and you can uh, challenge him. To Ooh, do so, you, you need to be a member um, on Chess24, not a paying member, of course, but if you are not uh, registered, you'll need to register. And then do send your challenges to Team Chadleton. Um, yeah, I hadn't really thought of that. I was just thinking, oh, David will play, but then I will be following him and then we will mix it up uh, just with some hand and brain and things like that. Okay. So basically, um, if you want to play David, uh, find Team Chadleton and send him a challenge at either one, three or five minutes. Okay, um, I got a challenge, um, which I accepted, but the, my opponent seems to have disappeared. Okay, Anonymous. So master. Let me, so I'm going to click this button to make sure I see all of your games. There's another question. Um, okay, so I'm basically now following you forever, I think. So whenever Perfect. whenever you play a game, I should be able to see that. Um, as you might be able to tell a few things here disappeared, like you know, over there. There used to be a, a donations bar, which I tried to bring up, but I failed at the last minute. And my usual tech uh, helper, Vlad, is far, far away. Um, and he hasn't got the laptop with him, so he was unable to help me. But that will all be back hopefully tomorrow, and now you will be able to see the board in all its glory and uh, big size to follow David's games. I, and I yeah. suggest um, that if you don't get any more challenges, uh, you can maybe just start a game at random. Okay, I'm going to start a game at random because I've been waiting for my opponent for a minute or two now. <laughs> and I'm an impatient guy, so uh, <laughs> and in the let's play. Just uh, one last question. Uh, well, you can get yes. started already. Uh, Aldo, okay. Aldo in the chat wants to know what my uh, Chadleton is so lucky to get such a wonderful team. How did it all begin? Um, and he is wondering if I brought you all in. And uh, oh, I just noticed that what's happening with this view is people can't see your opponents, but okay. Might have mm. to fix that later. Um, but so David is I'm playing, playing against an IM. Yes, and I am 2200 called John Zorn. Exactly. Um, yeah, anyway, back to the question, Fiona. Back Answer it. Question, how, did, yeah. um, how did you recruit recruit us? <laughs> well, I recruited you, but um, I was recruited myself a few years back, uh, maybe four or five years back, um, when a friend of mine couldn't play and every team needs to have a women player, so she asked me if she can see if I fancy playing. Actually, I've told the whole story in an article I wrote for Just24. I'm going to try and find that um, in a second and post it in, um, in the chat. But yeah, if you, in, uh, in the Just24 mm -hmm. Just search bar, if you enter it for NCL, uh, I've written an article about my beginnings. So uh, a lot of the team was already there when I started playing uh, for them. Keith, um, Jonathan Hawkins, David Eggleston, who's playing with us uh, in the Florencia. So these three, I would say, are the core um, of the team. And then, yeah, I recruited some great people like David, like Simon, like Vlad, um, like Tamas, who's coming to the European Block Cup with us as well. So yeah, it's, it's true. We are very fortunate to have a pretty green team now. And uh, Anton wants to know if you're using your touchpad. I am. I am. I wish I could <laughs> show you the touchpad, but it's pretty battered at this point. Um, I mean, I just, I don't have a, well, I do have a working mouse somewhere, but 
I just I just get too slow with one. Just I, don't know what to do with it I in actually, my hand. So. I brought my mouse to the lobby with me. Oh, but I shouldn't be. I'll just <laughs> um, because yeah, I'm pretty useless. I mean, I'm pretty useless even with the mouse, but with a touchpad, completely useless. And um, I'm not sure. There's another question from Nova Greet uh, in the chat. Yeah. I'm not sure if it, have you seen it already. <laughs> I saw this question and it made me want to cry. I know. Uh, I'm not sure if he's serious or if he just wants to troll I hope you. He's tro I hope he's trolling me. I mean, okay, if I hadn't lost my last game, we would have come fourth. So we wouldn't have won a medal anyway. That's, <laughs> that's my defense. I mean, uh, the, Amer well, the USA and uh, Ukraine were far ahead of everyone, I think. Uh, they deserve to take the top, well, the top places. And... Um, I mean, Russia are a pretty decent team as well. So I don't think we could have won a medal, even if we'd all been on top form. But, uh, I mean, okay, if I'd won my last game, won or draw my last game, we would have been very, very close to a medal. It would have been our best finish since 1986, I think. So, um, okay, yeah, that's it's a pity, it's a shame. But life goes on. And I just realised it's my move and I've been waiting for about <laughs> 30 yeah. seconds. Well, maybe you can... I just realised I didn't uh, even name the... I did a name the stream, <laughs> and it's still called Impromptu Monday Night Stream. Well, it you wasn't. didn't name the stream. I didn't name the stream now, and I'm. You should be. You should call it Band Boy. No, Band Boy. Boy Band. <laughs> boy, band boy. boy Band auditions. I don't know. I'm concentrating on the chess. Try not to blunder my pieces. When talking of boy band auditions, I think what you're referring to, and people are not going to see us for the next few seconds. If we can get that to work, let me see. So I know you're now seeing an empty a black screen, but uh, what David is referring to um, is, is these handsome white men who, um, who are... And I wish I could show you my page. I've got a new badge. I am killer badge. Ah, oh, <laughs> so excited. Very nice. Um, yeah, so... The photo I was just, uh, basically I was just showing people the little um, collage I did this afternoon with you five guys. And basically these five uh, are my lovely guests for the next five days. I'm hoping so back to the photo today and show my thanks to David Howard. Then tomorrow I'll be joined by the one and only Jeez. Uh, not a title player, but he's totally not, and he's a musical genius. Then on Monday evening, that's when Master Neil's wedding is on Tuesday. Yeah, he doesn't That is Vlad Hamitsevich, in from Moldova, and my usual IT helper, but unfortunately, is not here with me. Um, and Great Helm is uh, requesting for you to play a Traxler. I can't, I'm Traxler? So, yeah, I'm so bad with openings. I'm like, I know the <laughs> name, but I can't put an opening. I'm going to quickly Google the Traxler. Um, <laughs> but yeah, while I Google that, I think, yeah, it's going to be the best week ever. I mean, you've got me. I'm just kicking things off today <laughs> just as the kind of token mixed race minority guy. Um, tomorrow you've got Mikey G. He's the musical genius. Then you got... Is it Simon then? It's, well, uh, no, it's Niels. On it's Niels. He, he's he's kind of the the hairy, brooding, <laughs> sexy one with the great chess skills. And then uh, yeah, Simon with his karaoke, and yeah, <laughs> he's the token ginger. And then yeah, Vlad, he's the male model to finish things off. It's going to be and, the best week ever. So. <laughs> well, hopefully. And the reason why we're still doing the stream is while I'm on a holiday is that we're still trying to raise uh, funds for us to go to the European Club Cup. Um, in the last couple of days, uh, two grand came in, so our target has gone down drastically. And we're only, uh, well, only 1,200 euros away from reaching our 3K goal. And uh, for tonight, if we happen to have any donations, well, first off, um, if you want to play David, you will get a two-game match against him. But also, I have prepared a few um, embarrassing photos of David and I. Well, mostly, mostly of David. Uh, so Thanks, Fiona. <laughs> so, <laughs> so kind of you. 
for every donation, you will see an embarrassing photo of Grandmaster David Powell. And actually, I promised him before the stream I would be showing him what I prepared so as uh, to get his benediction. Um, get my blessing for all of those <laughs> all of those uh, non-Latin scholars among you. So uh, we didn't get around to it. So it, the photos will come as could a surprise. Be anything. Could, could be anything. Could be anything. Absolutely. So, I mean, yeah. Fiona does have some rather incriminating photos of me, which I've asked her not to show. So I'm hoping it's none of those. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll none see. Of those. I mean, a lot of them are self-inflicted. I mean, I regularly get bored during chess tournaments and <laughs> take rather dodgy photos. But, um, there's another uh, question for me from uh, uh, Nova Pui, who I'm starting to think is not trolling. And, um, He's asking, do you know why Adam quit the Karukan in 1997? From 1997 onwards, he only played one uh, E5, I mean E4, E5 as black. Okay, that's a good question, actually. Um, I noticed this, I mean, I, it was kind of before my time that he was playing the Karukan, um, and he used to play it very well. But uh, I guess it's very hard to win, and the, it's quite a few different structures that he needs that you need to know in the Karukan, and... Uh, I think e4, e5 suits Adams' style more. I mean, his temperament, he likes, you know, he likes having a set structure where he can just study the ideas and he knows them inside out better than a lot of his opponents. And, uh, I mean, I w I'd say there's probably less theory as well than the Karakhan. The Karakhan, you have so many main lines. You have the fancy variation. You have the main line with knight c3. You have all these pan of botvinnik stuff, the advanced variation. Um, I mean, back in the days that he was playing it, maybe... Maybe there wasn't so much theory, but maybe he saw that, okay, he could save a lot of time studying um, by switching up. And e4, e5 has been proven to be the favorite move of all the top chess players, so can't really blame him for blame him for sticking to something so solid. And I just, um, just did the chat. This is all a bit chaotic, but as I said, it's the first time I'm doing this, and doing it um, from my holiday is not ideal. <laughs> Uh, so that will yeah, all change, of course, when I get back on. But I've basically just written in the chat how people can play you. And, okay, uh, perfect. Perfect. Because, um, yeah. yeah. Sorry, carry on. I'm going to keep no, interrupting. Because I realize that because I'm following you, also uh, on top it says Chaddleton's latest game, which was my first name, but then I renamed it to Team Chaddleton. So, oh, okay. But yeah, I, w I will be posting that in the chat every now and then. So, uh, okay. Oh, I'm looking for a queen sacrifice to win this game now. And I, I have to admit, I haven't been able to follow a single move to play yet. Um, I'm a bit stressed out, but I'm starting to feel better now. Uh, things are not quite as I imagined for them to be, or I hope for them to be, but um, there we are. And we have our first donation. Instructive oh, wow. stream, thank you. Already? <laughs> yeah, and he, uh, well, basically, people, when they, well, first of all, thank you very, very much, Nova Greed, and you will get to see the first embarrassing picture of the night. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I better make the first one a good one to make people Which? want for more. <laughs> Oh God, which one is it, Fiona? <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I, I there are just too many of me. I it's have them already. But uh, also, when people donate, they can leave a message which is being read out. Okay. So now that I'm just watching you, um, I can keep an eye on this room, which is also quite relaxing. I mean, I don't really need to do anything. I mean, I don't need to play and do this and that. And uh, with his uh, donation, Norbert Reed said, instructive uh, stream, thank you. And I'm okay. afraid it hasn't been very instructive as of yet, but... Um, it's going to get better. <laughs> can I just... In, while we're on the note of instructive, can I just point out my forced checkmate in a, in four moves on the board? <laughs> sure. Actually, I'm going to let people guess it before I play it. Okay, so... Because I'm a bit of a sadist. Mate in four people in the chat. Uh, can you figure it out? I also, I'm not sure how much of a delay there is in between when we say this and when people hear it, but... That's okay. I have a minute and a half, so exactly. people have about a minute, be, if right? there is some delay, to uh, point out this checkmate. And I totally agree with Anton, uh, who's saying someone should bring me some wine. Absolutely. Um, it's a pity we're not in Hamburg anymore, where you and Vlad were just um, butt <laughs> we butlering were, me. <laughs> yeah, we were literally acting as 
topless waiters for her, <laughs> just bringing her wine. Just, uh, and also just, just to, uh, sorry. Go on. It's rather uh, noisy in the background there, Fifi. Yeah, no, someone has, uh, I think, found the maid. Bishop uh, D7. Yeah, my opponent actually pointed it out in the chat as well on Chess24. So thank you, Anonymaster, for being so honest. Yeah, Bishop D7. And now Knight takes B7. So the only move is Queen takes C7. We're just going to... Oh, thank you to my opponent as well. That's really kind to let me put it on the board. But yeah. Rook takes B7 now. Absolutely. So yeah, my last my last move with Queen G4 was sneaky to set up this threat. And, and very, yeah. uh, very well done to uh, Hopper... No. Yeah, Hopper is 1981, who was the first one to find the mate uh, in the chat. So well done. There um, we go. Nice one. Nice one. Uh, what was I saying? I'm completely losing track. I wanted to uh, just because uh, cause of Anton was saying someone should bring me wine, just to say uh, a massive thank you once again to Anton. Well, he's actually called Dan. Uh, and do follow him on Twitter if you're not doing so already. He's doing some great stuff. Um, he actually sent me a gift of the two of us earlier, which I will show you later. And he has come up with this Jaguton logo, and he's also done my Fiumcata logo. So thanks a lot uh, to him. And okay, yeah. I'm now going to try something so people can see my curios. I'm going to try and uh, take you guys to my screen so you can actually see how I try. I'm not sure I'm going to be successful, but I'm going to try and um, try and rename my stream Life on Air. How do I call it? Oh, you're so you're so spontaneous and edgy, Fiona. I know. I know. <laughs> so I'm, dangerous. I'm a bit afraid people can't really see it and seem to go. But now, how do I do this? How do I? Can I? Re yes, okay. I can yeah. And, it. yeah, I I recommend all of you actually to follow uh, Anton Squared Me on Twitter, just before we move on properly, uh, because he does come up with some great uh, great stuff. It makes me laugh a few times. Some memes and some some video clips and things. Okay, so I think the broadcast should be renamed and I can go with chef. And what are you calling it, Fiona? A Celtic ice cream with Grandmaster Day Town, which I think is oh, fair enough. That's, that's going to really pull in the punters. <laughs> <laughs> what should I call it? The handsome, you the should... sexy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, you, you shouldn't have to lie in the title. Um, just say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, just anything really. You choose. So, Ladies choose. Um, I promised that after every donation, and thanks again to Nova Ruiz, I would show an embarrassing photo of David. So I think it's now. Uh, I was hoping I distracted you from that. I was hoping we'd moved on. <laughs> I'm not sure which one. Uh, also, my computer, I really need to really have a, a Skype chat with my IT helper tomorrow because. A lot of things are not going the way I expected them. And that's not the photo. This is the photo of my amazing uh, supporting lineup for this week's streams. Okay, so let me think which with one of day. I can From 2009. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah, it came up on Facebook uh, this morning when I, I woke up. I think but... I need to manually add it, actually. <laughs> okay. Because it's not there, yeah? Yeah. It came up on my Facebook uh, homepage today, seven years ago, that we both played a tournament in Argentina where we first got to know each other properly. And, uh, yeah, we look slightly <laughs> different. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I think I managed to bring it up now. I'm not sure why no. it wasn't there yet. But, yeah, that's um, David and I a long time ago, a different lifetime, I think. David, I think I haven't changed too much, but you look very, very different. I think I looked, I looked better back then, you know. I was a dumb 18 year old. Don't know what happened. So, yeah, that's where David and I met uh, the good old days, Puerto Madryn, um, in Argentina. So, that was the first photo of the night. Um, that wasn't too bad yet. Yeah, Anton is saying you look like a vampire. Which I yeah. Said. But <laughs> women love vampires, right? Edward Cullen and all that stuff. Actually, Twilight is on the TV tonight. That's another thing I'm missing. So, I'm a bit gutted. But, uh, and actually, talking of Twilight, I, I think I was reading the Twilight books during that tournament where the photo was okay. taken. So, maybe. 
Well, I remember self-styled vampire. We also spent quite a lot of uh, time talking about Harry Potter and books in general. Yeah, we need to stop this chat. We're going to sound <laughs> like the coolest and kids it's, ever. It's just funny how uh, things have changed. And um, if you keep donating, you will see what David gets up to during tournaments nowadays. It's not quite, <laughs> not quite talking about Harry, Harry Potter and looking like a vampire. Uh, so I yeah. promise the next donation is going to bring out the sexy David Harris. <laughs> oh no, I know which one you mean as well. It's literally the worst photo ever. Um... And again, I'm going to um, keep posting this message. Uh, <coughs> with mes I'm going to keep posting this message in the chat about how to um, challenge yeah. and someone is suggesting yeah. you look undernourished <laughs> I, I think i was undernourished back in those days i mean those were the days before i went to university where you know my four years at university i nourished myself fully with <laughs> alcoholic bev beverages so um yeah that was <laughs> it was a lifetime ago and finally i've got a game i've got a new game and thank you morton helgerson for saying that i look sharp and sort of a villain because that was the look i was going for <laughs> oh wow i'm playing someone strong 2550. and morton i have to uh, extend a special welcome i mean that's what they always say on the airlines we, we we extend a special welcome to our premium users whatever <laughs> um so morton is uh, one of the most generous um, followers Simon and I have. He's also donated greatly already towards Jevons and going to the European Cup Cup. So thanks a lot uh, for everything, Morton, and welcome to tonight's stream. Uh, if you just joined, I explained at the start of the show also for everyone else who joined us a bit later that I'm currently on a holiday in Greece and this uh, daily streaming thing hasn't quite worked out the way I planned it to because I have no internet in my room, so I'm streaming from the lobby uh, just now, which is quite nice. I mean, I was sitting here um, a few nights ago watching parts and play against Nakamura, so if I just sit here in my own, it's quite nice and relaxing. The couches are comfortable, but there is this uh, waterfall thing going on in the background, which is making streaming a bit difficult. But yeah, I'll be here uh, streaming for the next four days. I'm maybe going to try and find somewhere quieter tomorrow. And yeah, basically the first time I've started a stream on my own. Um, so yeah, that explains the chaos of tonight. And I think you should do some... Yeah, someone is saying a lot of hiss coming from the microphone. I guess that would be me. And that would be the waterfalls in the lobby. That's always you. There's always nonsense coming from Fiona's end of the microphone. <laughs> um, so... I'm going to, as I said, uh, try and find somewhere quieter in the next couple of days. So, David, I should let you do some, um, some chess talk. Chess chat. Yeah, I was hoping to avoid the chess chat because this guy's pretty good. I'm playing a 2550 player um, on chess 24. I think I'm slightly better as black. I've played some dodgy opening again, this knight g7 Spanish. Uh, any of you who's who have tuned into our stream might have seen me play this before. Um, it's, it's a dodgy opening, but you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and here, my e5 pawn is vulnerable, that's the only problem. I've managed to swap off all the bishops. Uh, um, my rooks look great, my knights look great, my queen looks great, but it's just very difficult to improve my position. So um, I'm quite a long way behind on the clock. I feel like I should attack. Fiona would want me to attack. But, I always uh, want you to. <laughs> you always want me to attack. But, can't really figure out how. Right, let's double my rooks on one of the files. And... Ooh, a4. That's fruity. h6. I'm just trying to shore up my position. And I'm a minute behind on the clock. This guy is speedy as anything. And I was just having a look at twi uh, Twitter where I saw Anton can actually ban me from my own channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny the other day when he banned me from the chat. I mean, my, my comments were slightly inappropriate. But... Absolutely. <laughs> I hope he it was well deserved. You, taught you to behave in the future. Yeah, and I mean, um, I'm, I'm always on best behavior, of course, but that, that one time <laughs> I slipped, I slipped up. So. And Nova Dreed is saying uh, he thinks Greya uh, wrote a book on the opening you're playing, and it's called the Cozio Defense, if I pronounce that correctly. This is, this is correct, I think. <laughs> I think. Um, although, is that after a6 and bishop a4 flicked in, or... Um, 
as I Not said, so sure. I mean, I, I've barely been able to follow any of your games because I'm just <laughs> okay. keeping an eye on the chat on what else You're... is going on. Um, and yeah, someone is, uh, Gorin just asked, uh, joined us in the chat and he's asking, when did the stream start? Yeah, I started about half an hour ago, slightly late because of technical difficulties, as you might still be able to see. Um, but yeah, better late than ever. Oh, this guy's a trickster. I thought I was winning a piece and now he's surviving. Rook d5, let's attack everything. Do you know what rating you started on tonight? I started just like 2001, I think, or something. 2000 and, it might have been 2007 rating. We're now up to 2069, but uh, I'm worried it could go down. <laughs> well, I, I um, had, uh, when I streamed last Monday, I had a bit of a disaster. <laughs> As you might yeah. imagine, the last game I played, I lost 50 points, so that wasn't great. Yeah, I think it's going to be a trend that maybe <laughs> the guest stars will have to uh, yeah. <laughs> pick up some rating points. I think I'll just to. leave it to you guys to, to play this week no. and watch the uh, rating nicely go up. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Uh, You're very low on time. Yes, I know. <laughs> if I can just point that out. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Fiona. I've just calculated after knight f8, queen takes f8, takes on f8, and I can block his rook on the e file, and I think I'm winning some big, big material now. So I was just calculating out the story. Is seconds enough to win this? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've I've won worst positions in two seconds, and that's checkmate next move anyway. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna troll him. Gonna wait till I'm down to one second. <laughs> I'm such a bad person. Oh, I, <laughs> I bottled it. Do I see and we some gained... bad influence from Bob there? <laughs> yeah, that was all Bob, all Bob. And um, um, is someone? There's an interesting question in the chat, uh, saying Fiona. The other week you said David had gone out to buy a vegan alternative to something. Is David Powell a vegan vegetarian? Um, no, not at all. I am actually a vegetarian, but David uh, did go out during our 12-hour stream. <laughs> but it had nothing to do with buying food. <laughs> Thank you, King of Endgame, for reminding everyone about that. I just popped out for a walk with a friend. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian, despite the fact I might have looked undernourished in that photo that Fiona showed of us. So, um, yeah. I mean, I'm a big meat lover, I'm afraid, much as some of you might despise me for that. And there is another question uh, coming our way about the Carlson uh, Karyakin match. Um, what chance do we give uh, Karyakin of dethroning Magnus? And he thinks no more than 30%. Ooh. Thank you, Nova Druid. Um, I think 30%, somewhere between 30 and 40%, I think, is what I would say. Uh, How much? What did I you mean, say between thirty and? Yeah, I mean, I would probably say closer to forty percent is his chance. Um, I mean, in a match so close, I mean they're both both such strong players. I really can't. Uh, okay, it looks like I just blundered a piece, by the way, but I've got Queen A five check. So, <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, um, yeah, I can't see. I can't see him having less than a 30% chance. I mean, that would just be too harsh on Karyak, and he's a great player. He's won the candidates. The previous candidates, he came second. Um, he always seems to do, do well in last rounds or high-pressure situations. So, um, I don't know. I'd say somewhere between 30 and 40%. Okay. Maybe, yeah. I'm just giggling away because Anton in the chat says, out for a walk is slang for smooching. <laughs> <laughs> no comment on the smooching. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what that means. You know, I'm very innocent. So. Okay. Uh, also, talking of Magnus Carlsen, someone in the chat earlier, and uh, thank you all those guys uh, for following me. I'm uh, promising to improve the technical part of the stream in the future, but um, these are early days for me. And it's the first time I actually managed to start the stream on my own, so it will hopefully get better. Well, I promise it will get better from here. And yeah, talking about Magnus Carlsen, um, thank you, Drink Catch Up. Uh, someone was asking in the chat earlier on uh, if we uh, watched the match between him and Hikaru Nakamura, and I know uh, we did because we were actually talking about it while it was ongoing. So, what did you make of it? 
Well, I was just, I mean, it was amazing. It was just amazing play from both players, I think. Um, I mean, what struck me was Carlson's calmness. I mean, even when he was winning, he would never he would never make a slip. He just looked so calm. I mean, you could see their face on the camera. He just looked so calm. Uh, when he was losing, he looked exactly the same. Um, and I mean, he was losing a lot of games. So um, just the fact that he managed to save the majority of them was uh, impressive enough. I'm just clearly worse for the way in my game now. But anyway, um, yeah, Carlson, his end game skills as well. I mean, even when he has 30 seconds on the clock, he's out maneuvering Nakamura. He gets he his his end game theory is just immaculate. And um, yeah, I mean, I think on a better day, Nakamura would have finished off a lot more of those positions, and it would have been a very very close match. But uh, well, just a phenomenal play from both players, I think. Yeah, I think I agree with. I mean, I was very very impressed. Um, and yeah, I think the thing about both of them is they are just so resilient. Like even when the commentators were thinking the game was over, they always find something to make life uh, difficult for their opponents. And it's just the number of times it actually works is incredible. Exactly. I mean, they're just so quick at calculating, and uh, it's just it's just impossible to keep up with them uh, for mere mortals. I mean, they're they're just both incredible, and I think they're by far the two best blitz and bullet players in the world. So, um, yeah, I mean, some of the nine Fisher random kind of nine sixty positions weren't too impressive, but um, especially from Carlson. But the rest of the time, I mean, they were just phenomenal. I think. And also, what was interesting about that match was that uh, John Ludwig Hammer tweeted beforehand saying he thinks, uh, because Magnus is now he revealed in the post-match uh, interview in the Caribbean preparing for the World Championship match, and Hammer tweeted saying he thinks up to the match with uh, Hikaru, 60% of his preparation was uh, for that match against Hikaru. What do you think about that? How seriously do you think <laughs> Magnus took the match? I think he took it far more seriously than he was letting on. Um, not sure about 60%. I mean, the match against Kariakin is a big, big one, but uh, I reckon he did devote a couple of days to it and he was just playing it cool and he said he didn't have time to prepare. You know, that's that's kind of typical Magnus, just <laughs> uh, pretending it's all natural talent. But, uh... And by the way, in, in the chat, uh, Danger Mile 5 is saying, uh, wants to keep you happy and is informing you that Louise as Farley Quinn, Charleston, 30 white points. I have no idea what that means. I'm guessing it refers to Strictly ah, Come Dancing. Yeah. Oh, Louise is dressed as Harley Quinn. That's cool. <laughs> I have no idea. It's absolute Chinese to me. Um, and then Silver Spoon Star wants to know if you have played the number one Blitz player in the UK, King's Crusher. I have played King's Crusher, and he once did a video of a bullet game that he beat me in. I mean, I must admit, I think my score against him was rather large, and the one time he managed to win out of dozens and dozens of games, uh, he did a video on it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I've played King's Crusher, but I mean, this is going back many, many years now. So. Um, Let's see, because someone wants to challenge you. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm really low on time in all of these games. <laughs> You're chatting not, too much. Yeah, I'm not used to this chatting while being on a touchpad. Ah, my opponents are playing good moves as well. Um, and Let's go. So, yeah, uh, I've typed it in the chat, but if you're wondering how to challenge David, uh, find the account Team Chaddleton, not just Chaddleton. Um, Team Chaddleton and send two challenges, three minutes, five minutes, one minute, whatever. Ah, my um, mouse is frozen. <laughs> Is it I've got checkmate. <laughs> I've got checkmate. <laughs> Boom. Sorry. Thank you, Hoppers. Uh, you outplayed me there again completely. Um, and I am just a swindler. You are quite a trickster. I mean, you were talking I, um, about Venus and Hikaru, but you're not too bad yourself. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the only thing that sets out top players, I guess, from uh, us us normal guys. like. They just they, they see tricks they calculate they can they kind of guess what their opponents want to do and they find a an antidote an antidote to that so um, that's the only reason I am okay at blitz I reckon is because I can kind of see what my opponents want to do in advance and I can pre-move and I can set traps so um, and there's actually yeah. quite a lot going on in the chat now I'm even struggling uh, to, yeah. to follow although I'm not playing but someone uh, Milford Reed was actually he was asking about um, whether we think uh, Magnus and Hikaru agree, agreed on certain openings not to play before the match so Magnus could fight them 
uh, in preparation of the World Championship match, and I don't think so. I don't know what your opinion is. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> cloak and dagger here. I mean, he might play certain openings in the Blitz, and Karyakin might assume that that's just a bluff, but he's actually planning to play them. So I don't know, really. I think there's not too much significance. Of course, he won't play any novelties, any big new ideas or any strategic ideas. But um, yeah, I mean, you never know. You never know. We'll see when the match happens. I reckon it's all going to be E45 anyway. So. OK, and uh, we really get another donation. Um, okay. if you explain the cultural significance of Danger Mouse so that I stop calling him Danger Mouse 5. <laughs> oh, Danger Mouse. I used to love watching Danger Mouse. Um, <laughs> I hope I'm talking about the right Danger Mouse here. Um, I used to love watching Danger Mouse on TV. I think it was on BBC many, many years ago. I think it's still on BBC, on CBBC. Occasionally I'm flicking through the channels and I'll see Danger Mouse on. Um, his sidekick was uh, Penfold, if I remember, and one of my best friends at school was called Penfold as well, so I used to think that was quite cool. They go on adventures, they, um, yeah, I mean, anyone of our generation, and actually going back a few generations, um, will probably know about Danger Mouse. Unfortunately, Fiona grew up on some tiny little country which is barely a country they probably didn't even have tv there are about four people living there so um i guess i, think... I did watch a lot of cartoon networks but i guess <laughs> if there's never on uh, TV i'm trying to either. defend you fiona i'm trying to defend you so um yeah i think i think the cultural reference is lost on her but um but i'll, I'll keep it in mind for the future uh danger mouse and sorry i always yeah isn't there like a tech, Apparent... techno guy what's he called isn't he called ba okay Something with five in it. Maybe I'm yeah. just talking nonsense. And yeah, apparently there's Danger Mouse now on Netflix. So I highly recommend after watching this, the rest of this brilliant stream, um, if you kind of, if you guys want something to relax to on a Saturday night, then tune into Danger Mouse on Netflix. Yeah. Um, and uh, let me just see. I feel like I missed one question somewhere. Um, but yeah, right. thank you to oh. everyone who's in the chat. Uh, when we started, we had like three people watching and I thought we might just remain. Ah, oh, yeah, that's that mouth. Why? Thank you. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, DJ. Apparently, Eric Hansen likes him. Eric Hansen, of course, a big name in chess streaming. Yes. Have, yeah, have very big name. Have you received any challenges already? I'm just curious. Sorry? I'm curious if you're receiving any challenges. I've received many challenges, actually, okay. yeah. I mean, okay, I've only got one more at the moment that I'm not playing. Um, I don't know why I played that move last. Um, yeah, I've, my last few games have been against people who have challenged me, so thank you very much if you are in the chat. Make yourself known on uh, on the chat if you are. I know um, at the moment I'm playing Andrew McAvoy. Um, I think we played him on the last, last stream as well when I was here. Um, I noticed he was in the chat on Twitch as well, so... Um, okay, so David, what's, uh, someone asked me for the second time if I can mute the check sounds. Um, I think I do, um, but i wait for David to finish the game before I do that, because otherwise he won't be able to see the board. So after this game, I'm going to try and mute the board uh, sounds. Okay. And uh, uh, Norbert Reed was asking, um, he said he noticed Jonathan Hawkins in the team photo. So that's the team photo up uh, there. I've just blundered horribly. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. So Jonathan Hawkins in the photo up there is the um, gentleman in the pink uh, jumper. So you can't really miss him. Uh, he's a very strong player. I think it's a shame he doesn't play more, but he always does great. Um, in our team, I and mean, also in general. Um, what's his rating? 2550? At least 2550, yeah. And I think uh, he could be very strong. And um, uh, Norbert Wade wants to know if we know why he didn't participate in the British Championship uh, this year. Yeah, I mean, I think there was um, a difference of opinion in terms of financial fee that he should receive for the tournament, but I mean, that's kind of private stuff, so we don't really know too much about it. He was a past uh, British champion. Yeah, I mean, he was the reigning British yeah. champion. Exactly. I mean, he yeah. he'd won the last. I mean, in two thousand and fourteen, we won we won the championship jointly, and uh, and this. I mean, last year he won it alone. So um, yeah, it's a pity he couldn't play. I'm not really sure about the reasons, but uh, hopefully he'll be back. Yeah. Also, it's a pity he's not coming to the European Club Cup uh, with us, but hopefully next year. And also, the new uh, foreign CL season is actually drawing uh, very close now, and uh, just. 
three weeks away. Yeah, very, very close. Um, I'm trying not to lose immediately here. I'm pretty sure I'm just completely busted, but... So uh, who is your opponent? How good is he? And my opponent is... I think uh, he's from Moldova, actually. Yeah, this Moldavian guy. Um, and he, I mean, he's 2,700 on uh, Chess24. And uh, uh, apparently he's very young and very talented, so... Uh, I'm trying my. I mean, I blundered a pawn on g2 quite early on, and I'm trying to fight back Actually, let now. Actually, see. Um, I'm going to. But if I do that, I'm going to very quickly try and see if I do something else. If I can get the names up, but probably not. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I'm just taking away there now. Looks like I can't do this. I was trying to get the names up, uh, so I'll have to try and come up with something different next time. So yeah, yeah. if you do play, uh, do want to play David Sender ch uh, challenge to Team Juggleton, and next time I'll make sure the names are somewhere there. I'm going to have to do a bit more playing around with XSplit, which I'm only just uh, learning to uh, to use, <laughs> I can't even like I can't do anything. I can't use uh, XSplit. I can't even talk anymore. Yeah, but, yeah. it's probably better that, that way. <laughs> also, uh, that mouse I think hasn't donated yet, so I'll keep you to that. I, unless you didn't like David' explanation. Um, yeah, maybe my maybe I was talking about the wrong danger mouse. Maybe there was one I was <laughs> uh, I didn't watch when I was younger. Um. I'm just so, I'm doing so badly in this position, it's ridiculous. I'm going to try and flag him later. Uh, well, you're like 10 the seconds down on the clock, so... I know, I know, but you know me. <laughs> no, using no. my touchpad, using my touchpad. So what are you down? Let me count some material. Just a pawn? Just, just a pawn, but it's, it's a rather big pawn. Um, but now the queens come up, which you always love. Which, yeah, I'm a big fan of that, as, anyone know, as everyone knows. But this guy's quick. He's quick. <laughs> He's so quick. I mean, I've seen you actually mm. do it before, but I'm still in awe of you playing bullet with a touchpad. Boy, I just can't get my hand around it. Uh, I think this guy might be too quick for me to flag, though. I, I blame myself. Oh, now he's just winning another pawn. I blame myself for checking the chat earlier. Oh, I just blundered a rook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was checking the chat for the most for the first two minutes of this game, and uh, I think that was rather silly. Yeah, I blame you guys. And there I go. I lost my first game. Oh no. We only lost two rating points though, guys. So it's all right. Okay. I'll get my revenge later. One more thing is, I'm just trying. Apparently, he did donate, which I'm very sorry if I missed that. Let me just have a look. Um. Give me one second. And Can you just do some talking? Okay, I will do some talking. And Danger Mouse is playing me at the moment, so uh, he sent a challenge along. Oh, and I think he did donate. I'm so sorry, and I'm so sorry, we missed that. Oh, thank you, Danger Mouse. Uh, Danger Mouse, can you just confirm you're called Paul <laughs> uh, in the chat? And uh, if so, the donation did come through, and thank you so very much for that. Um, and Danger Mouse is an FM apparently as well, very highly rated on Chess24, 2500. Are you playing him now? I'm playing him now, yeah, okay. that's right. Um, I mean, his name isn't on Chess24, so I can't really see. Um, maybe I, maybe we know Danger Mouse in person. Um, um, so Danger Mouse, thanks a lot uh, for your donation, and he has confirmed his name is Paul. I'm not sure why it didn't show up, or maybe I'm just, I was just dreaming again. So thank you so much, and I think you should give him a, a two match. Two okay, game match bring it on, bring and, it on. Let's and do, do this. some um, premium commentary. Premium commentary. <laughs> um, well, if I keep losing, then I might not be able to. Um, so I mean, I'm pretty sure this is a theoretical position. Um, Black's got rid of the problem of his light squared bishop, which normally happens in this opening, but he's spent a few moves with that bishop, so I'm ahead in development. I don't know what I can do with it, but uh, we will see. Um, do I go d4 immediately? Do I go 
build up with D3, E4. And Venture Mouse is saying he should probably mute the stream. <laughs> no, I, I'll trash talk him if he if, <laughs> if he mutes it. So let's go E4. And D4, I'm trying to track down that C6 bishop. And uh, by the way, I, f I forgot uh, to mute the sound uh, during during the last break. But people in the chat, let me know what you think in general. I know Govind wanted me to uh, mute the sounds. What do you think? Should I leave the just 24 sounds on or should I mute them? Oh, and you know who just joined us in the chat? Uh, John Naylor just joined us. So hi, John. John Naylor. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a while since I've seen you, um, but be great. I hope you're around in the foreign CL. Um, we're going to miss you at the uh, European Cup Cup. And thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, I must admit, um, I'm a big fan of his handle name, uh, John's handle name. And he's trying to figure out how to challenge you. Uh, so basically, you need to um, follow the link that Anton has just posted there. Uh, oh my God in the, the chat and then i think i've just got my queen trapped sorry to again. interrupt <laughs> again <laughs> oh my gosh what's happened to me oh wow fiona <laughs> <laughs> this has been the worst split session of my career um so if i go queen a3 rook a8 queen b4 knight d3 i lose the exchange oh, i might as well do that Anyway, carry on. Sorry, I interrupting. No, it's fine. Um, Taking this very seriously. And some people are saying they like the sound, so I think I'm going to actually leave them because then at least people can read, like, if there is a check on the board or if a move is being made, uh, we are all aware of it. I think also if I mute the sounds, I want, I mean, I'm struggling to follow the action as it is, but at least I know every time a move is being made. So I think we'll just keep it. <laughs> Oh, I'm blundering everything I touch. <laughs> What's going like, to happen if you lose another game? Uh, I might, I might just hang up. <laughs> I might just quit this call, go and sulk. <laughs> I mean, Strictly Come Dancing will be over by the time I finish as well. Gutted. Maybe you can still catch Twilight. Maybe I can. Oh yeah, Twilight finishes it <laughs> a few minutes after we plan to finish the stream. So. Uh, yeah, I want to. I want to know what happens with Edward and Bella. I've never. I have to say, I've never seen a single. Oh, you should. Twilight. You should. I actually do. I I can play the. I can play Bella's lullaby on the piano. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. And uh, I did cry when I first read the books, and watched the movies. That's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, this is just how chess players roll. We're we're all, we're all pretty gangster. And Anton is pointing out that at least you're not playing with your own account. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like, I think I play better on my own account because I care so much. But here it's kind of hard to I, hard I to feel focus. like I should really stop calling him Anton because I know better. And also, uh, His name is Dan, yeah? Dan, yeah. And Andrew um, Makovei, I should also really know how to pronounce that, says thanks for the game. Yeah, thank you, Andrew, <laughs> for that beating you gave me. Uh, I mean, I'm a pawn up in this position now, but I feel I'm not doing too well. All of his pieces are very centralized. My bishop on g2 is a bit dead. And his knight on d3 is a monster. It's like an octopus just controlling everything. What do you think if we give David to mouse, if the next game is a hand and brain? I'll make sure you play, you don't blunder by uh, telling you the right pieces. I think Danger Mouse is a bit too strong for us to play hand and brain with. <laughs> no offense, Fiona. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting so, oh, I'm so much worse. He's going to get some squares for his pieces soon. Uh, some big, big ones. Let's go rook d1. I'm sorry, uh, now. I'm joking, Fiona. Let's play hand and brain with Danger Mouse. And um, hope he doesn't beat us too badly. <laughs> I mean, can you really play worse than this? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm, I'm a pawn up. I'm a pawn up. <laughs> I'm getting stuffed, but I'm a pawn up. And I'm only a minute behind on the clock. I really need to stop minimizing and getting the chat up and <laughs> talking to you. And there's a way, I haven't told you, but uh, there's a way to make the chat pop up. Pop, pop up? Pop up. <laughs> a pop up oh. chat, but I'm not sure how to do it. I just know you can. Okay, <laughs> that's helpful. <Yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks, Fiona. <laughs> oh, gosh, this position is bad. Right, okay, I'm going to stop checking out the chat. You can read out any questions that there might be. Ooh, is he giving me a chance to simplify? Knight d5 looks tempting. Okay, in, like, Flynn. I have a feeling that might be a bad move, actually, by me, but okay. I could have gone a5 and pushed my pawns, but... And the is saying oh. you have a lovely way with words. I have a lovely way with words, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Blaze Row. I think Blaze Row donated the other day as well, he so he's now my favourite guy. <laughs> favourite guy. And uh, I think uh, I should remind people once again, and I should bring up another photo, especially as an uh, incentive. Oh, I got a new badge, FM Killer. <laughs> okay, thank you, Paul. I have a feeling this might be Paul Cooksey. Uh -huh. It is Paul Cooksey. Oh, okay, it is Paul. Oh, sorry, sorry to spoil your anonymity. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, hi, Paul. And thanks for the game. Shall we? I'll try to offer a rematch somehow. Okay, but wait, uh, first, before you offer a rematch, I'm going okay. to show, because we did have two donations coming in, and the oh, deal, wow. the deal nice. was that, um, I mean, since the start of the show, and the deal was that for every donation, um, you can either play David, of course, or I'm going to show an embarrassing photo of him. And if you missed that, this was the first one. Just one second. Okay, are you giving them the options? Or? So this was the first one. This was from when David and I met in Argentina. And Oh no, no, which one? <laughs> well, you'll see with uh, I get oh. to ruin because I did, um, save earlier, so let me just There's find 55 it. people in the chat about <laughs> to see the worst photo ever of me if it's the one I'm thinking of, so... <laughs> you sent to me, so <laughs> there you oh, go. No. That is what David gets up to nowadays <laughs> when he's at tournament. <laughs> um, so yeah, and there are a few more, more photos. If you want me to keep them coming, um, do keep the donations <laughs> coming on. Oh my god. <laughs> Fiona! <laughs> this has actually prompted a nice reaction <laughs> from the chat. And I wonder if <laughs> I can't even follow the chat anymore because I think everyone should. <laughs> oh God, I'm glad I'm. Yeah, I'm glad my mum isn't watching this. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and, and Morton is asking, "Wow, and who was supposed to lift that off?" Well, but you'd be surprised, or maybe not surprised, to know that it was licked off. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed lit. <laughs> Not by me. Maybe this person would want to keep some anonymity. Yeah. And uh, King of Endgame, King of Endgame has also donated. Yeah, he was actually the first one to donate tonight. Okay. Uh, so you will get the game. We will just first give uh, Paul uh, a rematch. And oh, then, whoops. Uh, uh, can you? I, oh no, can you find him? Can um, I might have just accepted King of Endgame. Okay, so let's play King of Endgame, and then we'll yes. play Paul next. And, yeah, Paul, if you could send me uh, another challenge, that would be great. We can play you in another game. Hopefully I'll have black in that one um, to balance out the colours. And Blazaru is saying, good job you shaved your chest, baby boy. <laughs> well, luckily, on that note, I don't need to shave my chest. Uh, I mean, I think I have about one chest hair, of which I'm very <laughs> proud. But, uh, you know, that's... <laughs> It's a curse and a blessing, so. So, are you waiting? Oh. Here we go, King of Endgame. Let me just, give me half a second. And Fiona's had enough of us, she just can't be bothered anymore. She hates us all, she's gone. And now she's back. Luckily she didn't hear me say that. No, I didn't hear you. I was saying how uh, beautiful you look today. And I, I can actually. Can you hear a sound like a. I don't know if. Because people say they weren't laughing about. The water has gone off. 
The water's gone off. <gasps> oh my just, gosh. Because there's some people sitting next to me and I just noticed they're looking at me rather weirdly because I'm talking quite loudly. <laughs> yeah, there's music in the background though. It sounds there like a music. brass band or something. Yeah, but I'm now I'm feeling... Now my other computer is gone. Or it sounds like a saxophone. <laughs> it sounds yeah. live. It's just like lobby music, basically. But my... <laughs> One second. <laughs> that was the flavor. Didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm so glad you're doing the chess bit because this is a bit of a disaster. <laughs> yeah, um, don't worry. We promise, guys, that the future streams will be more professional. <laughs> so now, instead of the waterfalls, you have the lovely music. Um, but I. Uh, Danger Mouse, um, I don't think you can rewind to watch your game, but as soon as the stream is over, I will upload it to YouTube. I just created my YouTube channel yesterday, which I'm quite excited about, so uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, you can do that, um, just under my name, Fiona C. Lantani. And I was, because earlier people said, oh, she thinks we're laughing at the photo, but I can hear... Do you hear like a weird sound? <laughs> it's just in my head. The only weird sound I hear is your voice. Because <laughs> I, I hear a kind of... I mean, it sounds all right to me. Let us know in the chat whether yeah, you're laughing at the some, photo. Someone was saying uh, it sounded like their modem, and I can hear some beeping sound, but I'm not sure where it's coming from at all. Uh, uh, anyway, David, did you think you... Uh, Paul had compensation for the pawn he blundered on a7. I think he had more than enough compensation. And actually, his um, I think it was the original knight c5 move that that scared me because suddenly my queen's, queen was trapped and I um, wasn't quite quick enough to get it out in time. And I mean, when, once he installed that kind of octopus knight on d3, controlling every, thing, every square, basically. I mean, it was controlling eight squares. So um, once he had that, I mean, it's more than enough compensation, I think. Um, luckily enough, I managed to trick him with some pins and, uh, you know me, with my tricks, Fiona, yeah, um, I managed to trick him with some pins. But yeah, I mean, my, my A and B pawns, they looked not nice, but they weren't very far advanced and it was hard to push them further, so I think, yes, more than enough compensation. Uh, I'm, still, I'm still confused. Uh, people in the chat, please let me know if you can hear like a weird beeping sound, because I wonder if that's my computer or if it's in my head. It's not very loud, but I can hear something, like some alien If you've got a weird sound. beeping sound in your head, then that's probably something to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, back to the game. Uh, David is now playing King of Endgame, who was very kind uh, to donate earlier. Um, yeah, I think he should be renamed King of Middle Game because he's just sacked a pawn on h3 and now all of his pieces are just... <laughs> oh, every game is just going so badly for me. Yeah, I mean, he's play He's just outplayed me, like most of the last few players have. So. <laughs> I'm so wow. glad I'm not. I don't have to play. Like, I literally don't think I could do that tonight. And uh, Kitty, Kitty, his his is uh, wondering <laughs> if you believe in. I really need. This is weird now that the waterfalls have come off because there is this. Yesterday, I was on my own in the lobby. Today there is this family sitting next to me and they must think I'm just totally nuts, but I think they are no maybe, options. Maybe they're just watching your Twitch, Maybe your, your stream as well, like because looking for some chess tips. I think from what I heard, I'm pretty sure they are Norwegians, so they must they, know what chess is at least. They love chess. They love Magnus. <laughs> so anyway, the question from Kitty Kitty is, uh, does David believe in rewarding a person with FM? I am GM title for contribution to chess society. Um, chess society. So um, I don't know really. I think maybe I'm a bit of a purist. Um, I think there should be titles for playing, and there should be titles for other things, like organizing, like arbiting, like general contributions to chess. Um, I don't know. I think maybe. Oh gosh, I'm under twenty seconds. <laughs> uh, they could create new titles, perhaps. Uh, to reward people with. But yeah, I definitely think there should be rewards. Uh, right, I'm just going to win this one and then the questions can keep coming. And there we go. 
Thank you, King of Endgame. Let's play a rematch. Okay, Let's and this play. time I will be, for the first time, we will play some Hand and Brain tonight. Oh, okay. Hand and Brain. I'm and gonna challenge. we will also give uh, Paul Endgame. a game of Hand and Brain later on. That is, yeah, good call, good call. Right, I'm gonna check in on the chat, see what's happening. So Kitty Kitty Hisses is continuing. Um, yeah, you can read for yourself. Okay. So, um, like several YouTube masters, like if King Crusher gets rewarded by Fido with the GM title for contributing thousands of videos to GM study, does David agree or like that? I mean, I think it would be interesting. I mean, I think King's Crusher could definitely get at least FM um, on his own if he if he wanted to. Uh, I think his main focus now is. Pawn. Oh wait, what's happened? Are we? Oh, pawn. Am I? So I'm moving, and you're you're the brain, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I think King's Crusher could definitely get a title if he wanted to. Um, I don't know, I mean... Knight. Okay, I don't know about giving a Grandmaster title, like you say in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be difficult. Um, Pon. Yeah, I mean, giving the Grandmaster title away too much might devalue it, that's the only problem. But if they created alternate uh, titles for achievements in chess in general, rather than just playing, then maybe that would make sense. So, anyway, back to the more important stuff of... Yeah. Winning some chess games. Pawn. Bishop. I had actually, it's strange. Like, it's the first time I actually need to do some thinking tonight. Like, I feel like I've just. Turn on that brain, Fiona. Yeah. Turn it on. King. Fiona has a beautiful brain, so when she does choose to use it, I mean, the results can be spectacular. <laughs> nice. No, and I, I won a game which I showed on my stream last Monday uh, with your favorite Alapin. Exactly, and here it's an improved version because Black's played a6, which doesn't really Knight. help. So yeah, I mean, for those of you who haven't seen Hand of Brain before, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Fiona will say a piece and I have to move it. Bishop. So Fiona is my brain. Yeah, beautiful I mean, brain. I a beautiful brain. I wish she could be my brain all the time. But uh, um, Morton is asking if we have any team preparation planned before the European Club Cup. Unfortunately, not. Um, Pon. Yeah. Because it's the tournament is just a week away. One week from now, we will have played uh, the first round of the European Club Cup already, and I think all of us, um, Queen. All of us sort of live in different countries, um, so it's very difficult to organize something like that. But we're going to be seeing, I said queen, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we I wanted to take that pawn on d5, but... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to make. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we will be spending a week uh, together at the European Club Club, and I think there, you know, uh, it should be nice, we will be looking at games together. Queen, uh, we did so last year. Um, just sit together in the evening, have a drink, look at the games, uh, talk about next game's round. Um, I'm really, really looking uh, forward to it. And then just a week after the European Cup Cup concludes, we have the first four in Seattle weekend. So, yeah, uh, there's going to be a lot of time for team bonding, uh, but no actual training camp. Team bondage. Yeah, it's going to be great. I mean, the team spirit we have is amazing. Um, I don't have it anywhere else in any team. Um, and yeah, it's nice to talk about team tactics and analyze each other's games afterwards and that kind of thing. So we'll do it while we're there. But yeah, as Fiona says, I think we start next Sunday, actually. So a week today we'll be traveling. But then, uh, yeah, then everything kicks off quite quickly. Um, yeah, so I think we're all doing preparation for the tournament, just maybe not together at the moment, unfortunately. So. And someone is asking that this, uh, someone saying this is a fun uh, format. Will you be doing uh, commentating the World Championship match on Chess Twenty Four, Fiona? Uh, let me just come up with a move before I uh, night. Um, I can't uh, reveal too much yet. Someone also asked a question about Aegon earlier on in the show. Uh, what do I do, Bishop? Um, yeah, of course, I'm not too impressed with all of Aegon's, um, uh, all Aegon's of antics. <laughs> Aegon's antics, let's call it that. Uh, we will be um, 
we will be broadcasting the World Championship match. Of course, we broadcast all the main uh, chess events in the world. The World Championship match will be no exception. I can't reveal too much yet, but um, I will be doing some sort of coverage, let's say, and uh, hope you will like it. Uh, I don't know. Rook. And uh, Govind wants to uh, try, actually once Simon and I during a stream, uh, Simon told me to move a pawn ten times uh, consecutively. <laughs> so let's try and do that now. Let's try five, oh, five, five pawn moves in a row. He might attack our queen if he hears yeah, this. <laughs> let's hope he doesn't. Okay. He probably will. Are you saying pawn then? Yeah, yeah, five times in a okay. row. Okay. Uh, which That's question? Makes sense. There was one more question. While you look for the question, do you want a present, Fiona? Yes, sure. Okay, I've got a sweet here for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wait, wait. I don't know if the viewers can watch see this. This is literally the weirdest you. thing. I've... Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is so cute. I love you too, of course. Oh. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, you have to move upon five times. Oh, but Even... Bishop G5 wins a piece immediately. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's move upon. And um, Kitty, Kitty, uh, his, his. Can you just repost the question, please, so I can actually see it? H how many more pawn moves? Uh, that was number three in a row. Okay, so two more. But I think KC would have real chances of beating Kasparov blindfolded. <laughs> KC. Oh, King's <laughs> Crusher. There's a I lot of love for King's Crusher in the chat tonight. Maybe he sent his fans out. Oh, so this is pawn move number five in a row. Okay. Luckily, the queen. Luckily, the queen is defended. Otherwise, <laughs> that could have been bad. Yeah. Okay, now I have to play pawn. Still doing well. One up, two bishops. A king, black king Maybe is in a meeting. Maybe need to hurry up a tiny bit. Yeah. Uh, rook. Oh, god! I could have just won a piece. Oh no, moving <laughs> on. Yeah, I should have played that last move, but it's still good. It's still good. I like our bishop on h6. Yeah, we're gonna checkmate later. Uh, rook. Rook. Ah, uh, one minute, plenty of time. That's true. The KC Kings Crusher fanboys are taking over our show. Uh, <laughs> rook. Yeah, I mean, I'm a big KC fanboy as well, but uh, maybe to a less extent of some of these guys. Rook. Bishop. I'm not sure that was such a brilliant idea. It's okay. Oh We're winning. That pawn, if he takes on d6, that pawn will queen eventually. Bishop. And there we go. That is... I think Commentary. Kitty Kitty his, his, is a major troll because he is saying, uh, Bishop, I, I didn't need to take out. Um, I will read out his question in a second. Let's just get yeah. the game with. Once, once we've won this one. Pawn. And it looks like Black's in Zugswang, pretty much. Uh, Bishop? Yeah, there's no rush to take that. A yeah. pin is a pin. Uh, bishop. My phone is going King? wild with vibrations. What? My phone keeps King. going off. Oh, I should have said anyway. Uh, <laughs> King. King. <laughs> Such a troll, Fiona. Oh dear. Uh, Bishop. Rook. Rook. Pawn. King. <laughs> okay. Pawn. 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 Uh, rook. <laughs> Pawn. Oh, we're gonna do it. Queen. 
and Rook. <laughs> nice one, nice one. Uh, thank <laughs> you, King of Endgame. Good. That was stressful stuff. Uh, that was stressful. Okay, now uh, let's come back to the to feed the trolls. Yeah. Kitty, kitty, let's kitty. feed the trolls. Let's feed my, the trolls. My life motto is feed the horse, not the trolls. But this time we will feed the trolls. <laughs> let's feed the trolls. And Kitty Kitty, yes, yes. It's saying, okay, this is actually a serious question. How instrumental were Kingfisher video videos or YouTube videos as a help to achieve GM title when David was younger? Um, <laughs> I'm going to be harsh here, but I mean, okay, uh, zero influence. Um, <laughs> I was very young. Actually. I just, it's actually nearly the 10 year anniversary of me achieving the Grandmaster title, and I'm not sure. YouTube <laughs> was a big thing back then, or that he was even doing that. King's Crusher was even doing videos, so uh, yeah, I'm afraid not. I mean, even if I were an up and coming player in this day and age, I wouldn't rely on YouTube videos. I mean, especially not the kind where it's mostly banter blitz, that kind of thing. Um, I would look more for I don't know, I'd want to work with books and a board and an engine, maybe rather than div, uh, videos. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Do we happen to have a challenge from Danger Mouse? Danger Mouse, let us look. No I... challenges from Danger Mouse. Okay. Hopefully Danger Mouse didn't rage quit earlier. <laughs> so Paul, <laughs> if you are still watching us, uh, do send David an hour, another challenge and we'll give you a game of hand and brain um, as well. And for now, I think you can just keep playing. I feel more and more awkward yes. here in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel awkward. You're doing a great job, Fiona. Getting, we all love you, don't we, guys? It's getting quieter as well. And uh, it's very it's reson good. resonant. It's, it's resonant, good. yes. You should be proud. You should be loud and proud. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, even We're here with Chadwater. And Kitty Kitty Hiss is it. now following. Uh, and Ivan Shitko, also from Moldova, um, would also like a game. So let's give, give Ivan a okay. game if we uh, can. And so after this game, Ivan, if you challenge me, I'll play you next. Um, I think I saw him on a challenge earlier. I had four or five challenges at that time, and now I had zero. So. Um, Oh, someone's playing the C3 Sicilian against me. What is this nonsense? <laughs> so are you is he just to show us the reputation now? Is he just the biggest troll in the world? Oh, wow. A question I'm for gonna... David. How did your opening repertoire evolve throughout your career to what you play now? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, it's a long, long journey. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think an opening repertoire ever stops evolving, so that's kind of tricky to answer, but... Um, I mean, pretty much actually for the first 16 or so years of my life, uh, until I became a Grandmaster even, and even beyond, um, I played pretty much the same thing every time. I always used to play the C3 Sicilian, I always played the Grunfeld without fail, I didn't know anything about any other openings. I mean, I used to play 1E5 all the time, um, I used to play 1E4 all the time, but um, they kind of hit a point when I was, I mean, I started experimenting more um, after a while, but... There was a point, maybe when I was about 16, 17, maybe even 18, where um, I kind of hit a block. My rating wasn't going up. I used to, My opponents used to prepare deep variations against me to force draws, or uh, I found it very frustrating. So um, I think it's, that's a natural point for any, any young player. And um, eventually I thought, okay, I've had enough. Let's just learn some new openings. So I went out, I bought some opening books. I sat down and for a few months and I tried, tried to study some. I started studying the English opening for white. I started studying um, as black. I started studying Nimzo Indian, Queen's Gambit Declined, the Slav. And uh, I started playing them in less important games. Eventually, I don't know, eventually it became second nature. And um, I mean, quite influential on me was uh, talking to players like Nigel Short. Um, I mean, he was a great help with opening stuff because, I mean, his style is very much not designed for anything other than bringing your opponent out of their comfort zone. And that's what I still try to do nowadays. I still try to play something that will be annoying for my opponent or something they haven't looked at before or something where they've had some traumatic losses. So, um, yeah, so nowadays I, I'm very flexible. I play most things with white. I'm still quite rigid with black. I still mostly play E5, mostly the Grinfeld, but lots of other things as well. So, um, yeah, it's an ongoing journey and you've got to find what's comfortable for you. And there are certain pawn structures and things that I like, so I know exactly what openings I should go for. All depends on your own style and your own uh, your own comfort zone. So, well, anyway. I'll keep it. Uh, that was a great answer, and I'll keep it in the series register uh, in a second with a question from Didn't Drink Drink Ketchup. 
But just before I get to his question, um, I just noticed that Liverpool won their game tonight. I'm very happy about that against Palace. And Malcolm Payne uh, was actually at the stadium, so I guess he must be a very happy man as well. So, yay, Liverpool. And the next question from Dream Catch-Up is um, a real question. Uh, David, what was your rating? Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> I'm not even, I can't even read the question. David, what was your training regimen like? Is it a pronounced regimen? Yeah, regimen, yeah. Uh, like, so, <laughs> I'm making a mess out of this. David, what was your training regimen like through achieving your GM title? Did you just look at whatever interests you at the time, or did you structure and organize it? Um, I wish I'd structured and organized it more. Um, I, I was quite organized when I was young, surprisingly. Um, although my main problem was that I was in full-time education. So uh, at the time I was doing my, uh, at the time I got my grandmaster title, I think it was just after I finished my GCSEs at school. Um, so I, it was just after my 16th birthday. So um, yeah, it was very difficult. I mean, I went to a school where the days were 12 hours long. So I would get into school before 8.30 and I would only be allowed to leave at 8.30. So it was kind of hard to structure any proper training regimen. Uh, mostly I would just read books. I would always analyze my own games and I would follow top level games. That was it really, nothing too spectacular. But uh, um, yeah, I mean, for those of you who are looking to organize something now, I would recommend spending some time on books, some time watching commentary, live games, and then the rest of the time just analyzing your own games and working on your openings and end games um, and tactics. That's the main thing. Um, yeah, I wish I could answer it better, but uh, I used no, to be I think that was a pretty good quite answer. a busy kid. So <laughs> I'm just I'm just sitting here um, wondering. Yeah, you're trying to be is... quiet and discreet, aren't you? <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> but also, I think this is our most serious uh, stream up to date. Besides the bank of blitzes we did for Chess 24, obviously we wouldn't be drinking and chatting shit there. But yeah, I think tonight there were some initial technical difficulties, but I think it's gotten better now. Um, yeah, it's running very smoothly now, hopefully. And uh, also, for those of you wondering, um, the stream I will upload it to YouTube right after it's completed, so you will be able to re-watch if you so fancy. And uh, Anton wants to know how many over-the-board tournament games you have lost on time. Ooh, um, I could count them on one hand, probably. But unfortunately, I think two of them have come in the last... 18 months so <laughs> actually one of them earlier this year um was quite an embarrassing story i mean the well frustrating story from my point of view because it might have cost me a big prize but um okay thank you r and d miser for the game um yeah so earlier this year i was playing in the european individual championships and some of you may know that that's the only way to qualify for the world cup for someone from england actually so um I was doing quite well at the start. I'd uh, okay. I drew against a weaker player, then I beat Sargissian, and I'd had a couple of other wins. And I was on plus two or plus three, and I played a Georgian Grandmaster with Black. And you normally need to get plus four to qualify for the World Cup. Um, and I was completely winning the game. I was two pawns up for no compensation really. But throughout the, the whole four or five hours, my well, the arbiter was standing right behind me, talking so loudly. Uh, he was laughing away with people, laughing away with friends chatting i mean he would often kind of just mess around with uh, coins in his pocket and things like that and then it was the time scramble and my opponent had one minute for a long time i had about half an hour but then i caught up with him slowly and i was down to five minutes and i was down to three minutes and he still had one minute and and then the arbiter started talking very loudly and i got so annoyed i turned around and asked the arbiter to stop and then I turned back around and my clock had suddenly gone to 0, 0.0 and I was so shocked. I could have sworn I had three minutes left, but um, apparently I'd just forgotten about my time and um, I was furious with myself. But uh, yeah, so... I mean, this is, it shouldn't be funny. <laughs> it shouldn't be funny, Fiona. I can't believe you're laughing, but I was just, I think I was just in a bad mood all day. And despite the fact I was playing quite well, I just, I don't know, something was wrong and I, I just actually... snapped. I remember the day well because I think I messaged you on Facebook that night. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I was I was <laughs> devastated. Like, I mean, the arbiter was so annoying though, and he was like that throughout the tournament, and he was not apologetic at all. I mean, if anything, he was angry that I said anything to him. But uh, I mean, other people were complaining to him all the time, and it's just it was just so unprofessional. But yeah, that was the last game I lost on time. 
Um, I lost all time, I think, back in 2013 in one game and maybe once in 2008 or nine as well. So, I mean, I probably only four or five times in my life. I'm normally quite good at balancing, you know, the brinkmanship mm. balance on the edge. But, um, of course, getting in time trouble is not healthy at all. So. Um, and we are now yeah. playing, uh, well, you are now playing uh, Ivan Shetko from Moldova. From Maldives, yeah. From Maldives, uh, I think. He's a rather young and talented player. I think he's only maybe 14, 15, 16. Oh, I wish I'd played a more serious opening now. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, so we'll see how this goes. We will see how this goes. How's the chat going, Fiona? I've kind of been missing out for a while. Chef is going uh, well, and people uh, have a lot of questions for you. There's just a new one come in from kitty kitty his his i'm still trying to make up my mind whether he or she is a troll or not uh, but this one seems to, um <laughs> okay well kitty kitty his his is uh, quite clearly a big king's crush of and i thought the question was serious but then please push it comes into the question again but i'll pass it to you anyway a question for david do you believe gm simon williams is the most dynamic attacking UK master, or would you give that title to King's Crusher, keeping Blitz in consideration? Um, <laughs> it's hard to say. Um, I would say that it's just in terms of dynamic attacking play, then um, maybe even someone like Garwain Jones um, would be up there. I mean, Simon is a fantastic dynamic attacking player. Um, Although I've also seen him grind out some end games in these things like the Exchange Slav uh, for our team, so um, I, I don't know much. I don't know much about King's Crush's style, to be honest. Uh, even his recent Blitz games, so Nova, can't really answer that. Sorry. Nova Druid is wondering if Kitty 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 his his might actually be King's Crusher himself. It might well be King's Crusher himself. <laughs> I've actually heard stories about how people. Um, I mean, it probably isn't. Unless he's, <laughs> unless he is the biggest troll ever, and <laughs> but I mean I've actually heard stories about how if other people talk about other channels, on his channel, then uh, they get banned immediately. So um, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, yeah, if it is you, King's Crusher, make yourself known. We will we will fanboy the hell out of you. So. Yeah, I think I'm slightly worse in this position. Um, I'm kind of lacking in space, and although my bishop is technically better than his, my knights don't really have any big outposts. And, uh, and Catch Rocket Moon 3 is saying David could consider a career in the diplomatic service later in life. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, I pride myself on uh, <laughs> my diplomatic skills. Maybe I should have been a politician. Maybe this was a wasted life, Fiona, in chess. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, what do you make of life in chess? Um, life in chess. Oh, God. Save the best till last. <laughs> uh, that's tough. Um, I like chess lifestyle um, most of the time. There are a lot of perks. You get to meet people like Fiona. Um, you get to hang out with people like Simon Williams. You get to go on lots of adventures in different countries. You get paid to play chess, something you love. Um, it's a lot of pressure, though, from my point of view. Um, maybe I'm just at that stage now where it's kind of a lot of expectation and... Uh, I don't know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's very hard in a country like England where it's kind of dog eat dog, you're fighting for scraps, uh, you, it depends on your success. Um, I don't know, uh, <laughs> I would recommend it to a young budding player because I think chess, there's a lot of promising avenues, it doesn't have to be just playing chess, it could be chess coaching, chess commentary, chess writing, um, and I enjoy all of it luckily, but uh, yeah, there are moments, especially when things are going badly when you're losing, that it can be tough so uh, yeah just, you're gonna try and grind down this end game while a baby screams in your hotel <laughs> i was just going to say because uh, a while ago someone asked what the music in the background was so again for anyone who joined in late um i am currently uh, on holidays in greece and unfortunately the internet is not good enough in my room to enable me to stream from there so i'm sitting in the lobby which uh, for the last couple of nights was perfectly quiet, but then tonight we've had it on, we've had the waterfalls, we have the music, and now we have the baby screaming. Uh, should I take a draw here, Fiona? Mm, no. No. I, I probably would in a normal game, objectively. <laughs> Let's play for a win. Oh, there he goes. Yes, winning a pawn. 
Yes. Is it, is it true that uh, night endings are like corn endings? Uh, most of the time. Oh, I should have taken with the other night, then I'm just better. Arr. I'm so weak. Sorry, I'll answer that after I've flagged him. And <laughs> um, uh, Jay Craven is saying, Fiona is supposed to be babysitting, but is putting us above the child. <laughs> this uh, may be also true. It's happening. It's happening. No, I'm blundering. I'm losing everything. He's actually pretty good. It's really fast. I literally, like... He's gained about 10 seconds on me in the last few minutes alone. Ah, oh, Draw. <laughs> draw. Okay. Anyway, back to the question. Night end games. Yes, they are like porn end games a lot of the time, but there's more tricks. They're far more... I mean, porn end games are mostly calculation. Night end games, uh, you could maneuver around a bit, um, but there are always forks to watch out for and always night exchanges to watch out for, so it's difficult. Very, very difficult. And the baby is coming even closer as we speak. She's now uh, walking around just a few meters from me. It looks uh, like they are leaving. You should, you should get her on stream. She could be insta-famous. There's a little boy in an arsenal shirt. Um, someone's now following. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, yeah, we we're kicking up. Um, and thank you, Ivan, for the game. Um, again, I was slightly lucky to draw that one, but... And uh, no, Reed wants to know if I have met Jan's daughter yet. Uh, no, not yet. I'm not sure. Well, Jan, um, he isn't the kind of guy who would bring his baby daughter to the office for everyone to meet. But um, I'm sure I'll meet her someday. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, when when I was in Hamburg last week, he had he seen his daughter since the first few days. Uh, I mean, he seemed to <laughs> he seemed to uh, be pretty happy playing the banter blitz. At least. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so what's happening now? We still have some time. Are there any more challenges coming in? Yeah, um, I've got no challenges at the moment, guys. What's happening? What's happening? What's have you all happening? lost interest? So let me post a message in the chat one more time. There's 64 people watching from what I can see as well. And yeah. actually, Lethbridge just said the same. So, uh, yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> okay, so how about... Um, how about... We play someone random and we play another hand and brain game. Let's play a hand and brain game. Um, oh, I think I have a challenge. Oh, I think Andrew McAvoy might be too strong for us to play okay. hand and brain against. He definitely, I mean, he beat you, so. Oh, I'll... okay. Let's play Panty Sludge. Okay, let's play Panty Sludge with a game hand and brain. And, and then and you can get your revenge. Yes, and then I want my revenge. And this time I'm not going to spend two minutes looking at the chat. <laughs> this time it's game on business. Okay, so um, here we're playing Panty Sludge. Um, I think this might be a new account. It doesn't seem to have played any rated games before. So. Um, and even shit go. <laughs> the same thanks for the game. Was that hand and brain? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly doesn't trade your play very <laughs> highly. Oh, <laughs> uh, I beat Ivan on the last on our twelve hour stream when it was about four a.m. in the morning. So, ah, uh, if he's trash talking me, I'll trash talk him. I'm not sure. Again, it's hard to tell sometimes if people are trolling or not. Like, yeah. I know I'm a kind of person you could easily think I'm trolling, but I'm just being a genuine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. clumsy me. Yeah, Gina doesn't have a mean bone in her body, so um, I don't think she could know how to troll even if we trained her. But uh, yeah. Right. So what's happening? Panty here? sludge. Panty sludge. Where are you? The off. The the uh, challenge came in about five seconds. I clicked it, and now panty sludge has disappeared. So I'm I'm afraid we might have to abort this one if okay. panty sludge isn't back in the next five minutes. I think maybe he just wanted us to say panty sludge because I. Just realised that might be a bad thing, but uh, I like <laughs> Deadin's comment yeah, as well. Yeah, I, I was just going to bring up the photo again, actually. So, um, okay, I'm twenty-one fifty girl with all her groupies. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, your embarrassing photo is now green. <laughs> oh and no, guys, both of them. Guys, no, just the one. This is okay. what will happen if you donate a lot of more embarrassing pictures of David Howell will be revealed. Um, but yeah, I am a 2150 girl and I'm going to be streaming with all these gents um, in the next five days. So the first one in line there is on air just now. Uh, 
the charming, the handsome, the sexy David Howard. Then tomorrow we have completely crazy uh, Mikey G, uh, the only non-titled player, but he is worth watching. Uh, then on uh, Monday night, Grandmaster Nils Grandelius uh, from Sweden. On Tuesday he doesn't need any introduction. Uh, and William. Monday night, uh, Vlad Hamidzevic from Moldova. So, um, well, first off, thank you to all of you guys. Um, I'm really, really uh, blessed. <laughs> and uh, I'm really happy to be doing all these streams with you. Um, it's great, and it's great that you are um, happy to do them with me. So, yeah. Yeah, I thanks, Fiona. We're honored as well. We're honored as well. <laughs> I see there was already a first um, Mikey G fan in the chat. Well, I, I I hope so. Is a hoot? Is a hoot a good word? A hoot. Yes. Uh, probably sounds Scottish. <laughs> when Mikey yeah, G a hoot is normally means like a laugh. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Mikey G is an absolute laugh, and I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to be the only time um, of the streams that I will be playing, probably. And uh, yeah. but Mikey will uh, provide the banter and the musical. Accompanying. Accompaniment. Accompaniment. I hope. <laughs> I hope he has his. Uh, yeah, I hope he has his uh, keyboard with him. <laughs> I mean, that's the only reason I might tune in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's still promised me a recording of this song, "Howl, Take Off Your Towel," <laughs> which um, yeah, I, I'm very, very excited for. So. And uh, just to say, Kitty Kitty Hiss is, is saying, of many hours of watching chess streams, the lowest point of my Twitch career was being called King's Crusher Incognito on a GM stream. Oh, it did seem like that, though. <laughs> and uh, Blessing Rue is asking, what's the five uh, streams we are doing? Well, those are sort of holiday streams, and they are basically the last. Uh, one. Can you say that the last one? The last. The last. Yeah, the last run, the final push. I don't know. Yeah, the, the final uh, push uh, towards our fundraiser for the European Club Cup. Um, you can donate on the show, of course, if you do donate. Uh, but you, ha I know you have donated in the past, so thanks again for that. But if anyone, I mean, in general, donates, uh, you will be able to play David or the guys following him. Uh, I mean, in the next few days, or you uh, will, if you donate tonight, you will see some more embarrassing um, David <laughs> photos. And Govind is asking if we can see the Simon Karaoke video again. Well, actually, if there is another uh, donation, maybe I can play the Simon video and give you a break, David. Happily, <laughs> I just want to see Simon sing. So yeah, uh, basically the next five streams I'm doing are Chattelton dedicated and then once the European Club Cup is over, I will uh, properly get started with my challenge. As in, I mean, this is properly starting what I'm doing right now, but it won't be um, just directed towards the European Club Cup, which makes sense because it will be over. I'm not making myself very clear. But, but uh, yeah, the streams will continue, of course, after the European Club Cup. And I hope David um, will uh, occasionally join me. The plan is for me no. to do some solo streams <laughs> and some with guest stories. And I mean, these five people you saw on the photo there who are joining me in the next four days are uh, some of my absolute favorite people not just in the chess world but in the world overall and i'm really looking forward to every single one of those streams oh, i really want to win this one oh, uh, 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 panty sludge is actually drink ketchup on twitch and he's saying he apologizes um for not being there but apparently was trying to play with an ipad and that didn't work so i'm sorry you didn't get your game but hopefully next time okay ah oh. i was so much better and now it's not so clear what's happening to me Just, uh, 
you need to do some talking for a minute because I need to do. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm really concentrating on this game, guys. I just want to win. I need to win, and I feel like I'm not going to anymore. It was so much better. Um, yeah, the same game. I, I had the two bishops. I had everything, and then I went pawn grabbing. And those of you who know me, I do like a pawn grab. But now it feels like this might have backfired. Uh, um, I mean, he's won my a pawn. We're gonna, it's gonna blockade my e pawn, and it's gonna be very, very difficult to win. And, uh, a, I offer a draw. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky. There's a uh, question from uh, King of Endgame uh, yeah. saying, I've been playing chess since I was about 10, never learned, just played every so often. I've never been able to truly. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I can't multitask at all. Oh okay, my I'll, god. I'll wait until the end of the game. No, 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 go for it, go for it. No, I've no, literally yeah. just, I've lost anyway now. Too late. Oh, this is annoying. I can't multitask at all. <laughs> Carry on, Fiona. No, no, I mean, you have 15 seconds on this way. Ah. You might be able to flag him. No, no chance, I think. I'm just trying to get it out of the way. <laughs> it's not looking no great, is it? No. Again, I wasted too much time in the chat. What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> same guy. Same guy. He's got me twice now. Impressive I, stuff from well, I beat, Yeah, I beat him twice in the 12-hour stream, and then now he's got his revenge twice, so... Oh well. So, anyway, carry on. What uh, were you saying? Yeah, you and saying? Uh, King of Ending uh, and the people who were sitting next to me have just, I think, left. So I think I'm pretty much on my own now. Um, but yeah, King of Endgame is saying, uh, I've been playing chess since I was about 10, never learned, just played every so often. I've never been able to truly visualize. Um, he, quote, I don't see uh, the position I'm working out. How do I improve? How do you improve at this? Hmm. What do you think, Fiona? And Are you saying, a visualizer? He's oh. saying, I assume you can actually see the board in the position you are working out after a combination. You actually see the end position. Um, it's different for different people. I mean, a lot of people they need to have the board in front of them. They need to see, like, uh, they need to see what's going on. Um, they need to really stare intently in order to calculate everything. But um, I don't know. Some people can see it in their heads. I mean, I think that does develop when you're younger. Um, a lot, but you can train yourself. I mean, you can play blindfold games. You can. Uh, what I used to do when I uh, when I go through chess books or chess magazines, I used to literally just look at the notation, try to play it through in my head. So um, yeah, it's difficult, but um, you'll find a style that works for you. Hopefully, um, I don't know. What do you think, Fiona? Yeah, I'm also. I'm not great. I think at visualizing, but then I I find it hard now because when I read the question, I was thinking, how do I actually think? Like, uh, you show us. Well, I actually I have one bad photo of me. What, what do I have of me? Um, it, because Eric Kurtz is asking if I will uh, show some provocative pictures of me with the name. Well, if yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you already mentioned this. Maybe I was concentrating on the game, but Blaze Row Eight as well said he will donate eight uh, twenty pounds for every stream. Wow. Yeah, that was amazing. I saw that, and then I was just trying to see. That would be, I mean, that would be amazing, Blazero, if you and, yeah, are able to do that. Just, he has just donated. I, again, it didn't show up, which I'm really confused wow. about. But I received an email, so thank you so very, very much for that, uh, Blazero. Yeah, thank you. That's really kind. That's really so kind. I'm now going to try and bring up a, a picture well, that has the two of us in, uh, in it. It's okay. a, a more embarrassing for me than it is for you. It's not this one. Um, let me just see. Let me see what I called it. Yeah, and while you do that, ewookie1234 says, imagine a board, put a queen on e5, then jump c knight around the board. Yeah, that <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, uh, oh, wow. So that was in preparation. <laughs> in preparation for our Banter Blitz um, uh, session in Hamburg. It was the, the night before David arrived uh, in Hamburg. We were just having a bit of a pep talk. And 
uh, of course it just looks like I'm on the toilet. I'm not actually on the toilet, of course, and just looks like David is naked or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, I mean, I think the people there. I mean, uh, she may. I think she was on the toilet, and I think I was naked. So. Um... <laughs> Yeah, we'll let you make of that what you will. Uh, so yeah, there's a... Also, I forgot about that one. <laughs> there are actually quite a lot of pictures we both agreed. David and I had a gentleman's agreement. <laughs> they would never see the light of the day because I think both of us have quite a lot of material to seriously embarrass yeah, the I have some, so, uh, we know some pretty <laughs> impressive videos of Fiona uh, at her best and at her worst. So. So uh, the worst uh, will hopefully never see the light of the day. But then uh, there is some more other, some more other. There are a lot of other photos that I still have in store. So um, do keep the donations coming if you want to see more of them. And yeah, uh, one second. Yeah, I'm trying to look for a bullet game now because I'm kind of in the mood for something a bit faster. Um, when in the final stretch now. So. And there's another question for, for you from Nova Drid, uh, asking, what are your short and long-term chess aspirations, David? Um, short-term aspirations, um, <laughs> I'm going to sound ridiculous saying this, but I just want to kind of uh, really learn to enjoy chess itself again for the chess. Um, uh, recently, I've been worrying about results too much. I worry about what other people say too much. Like the worst thing I find in the world is when people talk about ratings. Um, like I find even my friends nowadays, they say, "Oh, you've lost some rating points. Oh, you've been terrible recently." Or, like, I mean, that kind of thing really takes the joy out of chess. So my main short-term aspiration is to yeah start enjoying it again. Um, long term, long term is more difficult. I would like to feel that when I retire, I've pushed myself as far as I could possibly push myself. Um, I feel in previous years, maybe I've been too lazy, Not uh, maybe my nerves have let me down in crucial moments. Um, I haven't really achieved as much as I feel I could have done. I mean, I feel like, okay, Carlson, that, you know, Carlson, uh, Caruana, that lot, they're all kind of Good out of reach now, and Euro I think they always will be, cup. but um, I mean, when I was younger, I didn't feel inferior to any of them, so... I don't know. I'd like to get back to something similar to that. I'm just anyway. interrupting you for one second because Johnny yep. Bishop has just donated. And thank you so very much for uh, that, uh, Johnny well, thank Bishop. Thank you. And Johnny Bishop. If you name. are around and if you would like to um, play against uh, a game against David, uh, do let us know your handle. And I will be thinking of what photo to show you next. <laughs> um, I'll try and come up with a good one. But thank you so much again. Again, um, thank you. Much appreciated, and goes a long way to sending us to Serbia. And Kitty, Kitty hisses. I think I have now. I've made up my mind that he is a troll. So okay, let me see what else I have here, uh, photo-wise. <laughs> Kitty, Kitty hisses. Saw that. that. Okay. Ultimate troll. <laughs> Ultimate troll. Um, oh, I have and... an excellent photo. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, <laughs> I absolutely love this photo. Hamburg. Hey, you see Vlad. Oh, no. <laughs> and Vlad, Vlad had just um, made breakfast for the three of us. And they go, David's look. Uh, when he's just woken up in the morning. <laughs> oh, Fiona. <laughs> That's not cool. That is not cool. I forgot we had that one. Oh, my Jesus Christ. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, that is one of my favorite photos. <laughs> um, really oh like that one. Hope you appreciate it as well. Um, that was, I, was, I was wearing a fake <laughs> belly. That's not my real fat belly. Oh God! So, yeah, oh, uh, we do have quite a lot of good photo material, and we will keep it coming um, for every donation. Of course, <laughs> the problem is uh, it will get worse. But David and I will be spending a lot of time together in the future, so there will be more and more stuff coming. 
And I just yeah. realized, I because the problem when I was uh, collecting the photo material before the stream, I have too many photos on my laptop and I don't know where to search. Like I was, So I have to think which tournaments were we together, then I find the folders. But I just realized we have some really good photos, uh, some, I mean, really nonsensical photos from the last uh, Foreign CL weekend. But luckily for you, or luckily for me, right, <laughs> I didn't have time, I didn't think of them. But uh, for the next time we stream together, I'll definitely find those. Um, some That's... really, really nonsensical <laughs> photos. Simon is involved Thank... in some of them. So. Oh, this is true. I know the ones you mean. Thank God I didn't remind you of those photos. But yeah, I, I'm I'm disappointed in you, Fiona, though, that you haven't you were well, that you no longer have a special photo folder dedicated to me. I remember once you showed me this folder that was just photos of me, and I was very flattered. You know, they were like. She drew like love hearts around my face. And... A long, long time ago, in a different lifetime, and this is a big secret I'm letting out here on air, I used to have a bit of a crush on David. <laughs> and I indeed did have a folder with only David photos, which is a bit embarrassing, but which I mean, we can. I can't blame her. I can't blame her, you know. <laughs> no, but it's good that nowadays we can just um, laugh about it. Um, yeah. There we go. Yeah. That's a little oh, secret God. reveal. <laughs> and, and Jolly Bishop, I hope you're joking about tweeting that photo at the next London Classic. Um, <laughs> that photo needs to stay between us, you know, circle of trust here. Um, we're all friends, you know. We <laughs> Nobody wants to see my big belly in the mornings without my makeup on, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and uh, Jake. Yeah, I was just going yeah. to get to that. <laughs> J Craven 33 I think that's a fantastic idea. Maybe one day I'll come back. Uh, Maybe when I, you have your own stream. When I have my own channel, I will... I mean, I already have a special Fiona folder. You know, some some slightly... Uh, well, some photos I can't show you, maybe. But uh, <laughs> uh, lots of funny ones as well. So, yeah, maybe one day I'll come up and... Uh, I think as revenge for this, I'll post some of my own... Uh, Fiona pictures. I think once our gentleman's agreement about what can and cannot be posted is broken by one of us, that might be the end of our friendship. Yeah, I can see I can see this going very <laughs> sour. Um, if I share those photos of you from last year's London, you know, those videos, then I don't think you'll ever forgive me. No, and someone is saying I can sense the start of a romantic relationship after the stream. And... What do you mean a start, though? What do you mean? It's been ongoing romantic relationship for years you know we're just we're still at that we're just very shy people you know we're just we're both too scared to make a move so uh. no in fact the truth is uh, david and i are far too close nowadays um <laughs> i think there is absolutely no space for romance we know each other far too well yeah i mean we've, we know too much we've seen too much so um, absolutely. yeah unfortunately that ship has sailed i think but um, yeah, maybe one day we'll overcome our shyness and uh, <laughs> share our true feelings for each other. Um, maybe. Um, <laughs> maybe. So there are two more questions. One is from Ivan, who is asking whether you want a rematch. And uh, I'm sure you do if he just sends a challenge uh, to I you. I do, yeah. Nobody's challenging me at the moment. I'm so Ivan, sure, just uh, send your challenge. And then there's a question from Kitty Kitty His His. Uh, Fiona, if you were trapped on an island and you had to pick between two choices to escape, A, watching continuous 20 hours of King Crusher videos, or B, eating 10 hot Thai chili peppers raw under five minutes, which one would you choose? <laughs> Thank you for your patience and answers. <laughs> I think I would, if it were me, I know this question is directed at you <laughs> as a woman, but... If it were me, I'd choose the chili peppers because then you get off the island after five minutes, you know. It might not, so I'm just trying to uh, lose some weight at the moment. I'm a, on a bit of a diet and I think that would probably help <laughs> with yeah, my diet. Chili peppers would knock that, knock those 20 kilos off immediately. <laughs> Screw the diet. Uh, uh, so yeah, I, I will also go for the chili peppers. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Jolly Bishop. He thinks we should get it on, and uh, <laughs> I'm tempted to sing "Let's Get It On," but no. I'm not uh, next bit time. Singing, but you have to do it because I'm in a hotel lobby. Let's get it on. <laughs> uh, oh dear, oh dear. So, uh, has Ivan challenged you? He has. I'm tempted to challenge him at bullet. But, okay. Uh, uh, three minutes just feels so long at the moment. I'm kind of enjoying just 
chatting rubbish. <laughs> Let's play a three minute game then, and I'll try to stop looking at the chat. By the way, guys, we will probably um, stop in about 10 15 minutes unless Davy Boy really wants to keep going. So if you have any more questions, any from serious to absolute nonsense, do let us know. Yeah, I mean, I, I might catch the last five minutes of Strictly Come Dancing if we end in the next 10 minutes. So, um, I mean, that would be perfect. But otherwise, you know, otherwise it's been a good it's been a good day. It's been a fun couple of hours. So. And <coughs> we have been going for almost an hour. Uh, no, for almost two hours. Time is really flying. Time flies when you're having fun. And it's, it's always fun with Fifi, oh. with Fionchetta. <laughs> How do you say, do you say? Fion... I can't even. I'm so. Fianchetta. Yeah, but I mean the, the chess word. Uh, fianchetta. Do you say fianchetta or do you say fianchetto? Um, fion fianchetto, I say, but probably wrong. It's a very British way of saying it. We pronounce the H's because we're very. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're very uncultured. So <laughs> I don't know. Fianchetto. And chess. Uh, chess. Schlaft <laughs> is saying someone donate a large amount of money so they keep going, please. Thanks in advance. Um, so, for what sort of money would you go on for another half hour? <laughs> if anyone donates 50 euros or 50 dollars or the equivalent, then I'll go on for another hour, maybe. Okay. But, uh... <laughs> so, guys, so you know, you have 10 minutes. We will call it yeah. quits uh, and in, in 10 minutes. Uh. Unless someone donates fifty dollars or euros or pounds, and then we'll go exactly. for another hour. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for another two hours if you donate hundred. <laughs> Apparently, I've missed the end of Strictly Come Dancing though, so I might have to just watch the end of Twilight. Oh, I could watch plus one Twilight. I can see the the romantic brooding and the, the vampire kissing and the, oh, it's going to be perfect. And the werewolves, the topless werewolves, and those six packs. Oh, okay, there's a serious question for you from Blazero asking what's funding uh, like in the UK for top players. But there's also Jolly Bishop um, asking, hey, how about doing a simul with your viewers one day? And actually, I don't think Aldo is in the chat any longer, but Aldo is actually working on uh, getting... David, Simon, and I do a combined um, a combined simul someday in London. So, if you yeah. are anywhere in the UK, uh, we will definitely keep you updated on that. And it would be, I always find it great to talk to the people in the chat. But of course, meeting you in real life would be even better. So, um, if you ever see me in a tournament someday, do not hesitate to come up to me. I don't bite. Um, unless you catch me on a really, really bad day. <laughs> unless you donate a lot of money on Twitch, then she'll bite. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it would be fun, of course, to meet and to do some simulations and stuff. And I will let you uh, get back to the question about funding. Okay, funding. Um, yeah, I shouldn't complain too much. I mean, I think it's better than some countries, but a lot worse than some other countries. So, um, I mean, for example, we can't compete with... Uh, countries like America we can't compete with um, some European countries but at the same time it's better than it has it's better than it was a few years back so I don't know um, I can't complain it's hard to get by just on playing uh, just on playing alone let's just say that so. uh, am I slightly worse I think I am slightly worse. and danger um, mouse oh danger mouse is still around so we were oh, planning cool. Paul, we were planning to give you a game of hand and brain, so if you challenge David to a three-minute game, I can put my beautiful brains, as David likes uh, to call them, to use again. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, she's been saving up that beautiful brain for, for these last 27, 28 years. She's going <laughs> to unleash it on, on you if we play hand and brain uh, in a few moments. So, oh, can I play knight a4, queen b3... Hmm. Yeah, it looks like this game might fizzle out to another draw. And actually, I, I, I wonder what's going to happen. What did we even say? 50 euros will go for another hour. Another hour, that's right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That's silly of me. <laughs> I should have asked for five times more. <laughs> But okay, there's just eight minutes left, so... Eight minutes left, okay. 
and I just realised I could have sworn I had loads of time, and I was just literally just flicking through the chat again. I was so stupid. <laughs> um, and now I suddenly have 25 seconds. And Danger Mouse, Paul is saying was. he's been playing a drinking game while watching Strictly, so he thinks he wow. needs. Uh, we I think need... he might be my. He might be my hero. My hero. <laughs> and he thinks he needs a bigger handicap. I'm not sure what could be much worse than me being your prey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's quite a big handicap, Paul. I'm sorry. Like, I mean, Fiona, she's. Uh, Ivan made a mouse slip, but I'm ruthless, so I took his queen. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> terrible. Thank you, Ivan, for the game. Uh, I finally got my revenge on one Moldovan player. <laughs> Andre is still 2 0 up against you tonight, though. I know, so, I know. I, one day I'll get my revenge. 2 all in total, apparently, according to Chess24. Uh, so. And Catch Rocket Moo 3 wants to know who does David think the player will be who will finally wrestle the World Championship title from Magnus? Ooh. I'm not sure. Um, I think at the, this moment in time, if anyone, it would be Caruana. But uh, I don't know. I mean, it's such a difficult... I mean, it's such a long, long journey to even get to the candidates, let alone qualify for the World Championship. So... I mean, people have to go through these qualifying events like the European individual, then they have to do well in the World Cup, then they have to <laughs> win the candidates, then they have to play Magnus. I mean, it's uh, very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'd say Caruana, if anyone, at the moment, but maybe you never know. I mean, you don't know about players like Wei Yi or like this Praganand Ha <laughs> or this, uh, this, is he Uzbekistani? This. Uh, Young kid. Who also has an unpronounceable name. Yeah, who also has an unpronounceable name. I'm not going to try. I mean, he's, a, he's about 11 years old and he's just performed uh, nearly 2,700 in his last tournament. So it's pretty impressive. Um, so it could be any of these guys, but I mean, it's very, very difficult to say. Of the current generation, I think Caruana, maybe Giri, if he manages to kind of balance his style so that he can, he can win a few more games here and there. And uh, I don't know. I, I really can't see anyone taking it from Magnus at this moment in time. Um, Karakin will give it a pretty good shot, I reckon. Uh, he's got the whole backing of the <laughs> of Russia, but um, we'll see. We'll see. And Carlos uh, Harpy suggests him, yeah. or that David Howell. <laughs> yeah, David Howell. You know, um, well, back in back in two thousand and two, David Howell stopped Magnus from becoming world under twelve champion. So uh, maybe one day he can <laughs> do the same for real life. But nah, I think uh, I think my time is over. My time is my time is done. I'm too old now. I'm too old. So shall we? Shall we call? Uh, sh yes. Let's play Paul. Let's play Paul. <laughs> has Paul sent you a challenge? He has. Okay. Danger so mouse. Let's... It's going to be three minutes though, Fiona. So we're going to have to be quick. Okay. So no more shit chatting. No more shit chatting. <laughs> um, right. Here we go. Paul's here move. Here we go. Uh, Paul. And chess for slack. Uh, how much tea does David drink? Um, nearly none. Uh, oh, I not. said pawn. Oh, pawn! I just forgot it was mouth. Oh god, I forgot his hand and brain. <laughs> I don't even know the Grunfeld. Oh no, you don't have to play Grunfeld. Mm, I won't play the Grunfeld. I'll say pawn again, just to punish you. The King's Indian. Then. Oh no, I don't know the King's Indian either. <laughs> pawn. Oh what? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Sorry, I forgot the first move. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. Knight? Um, How do you like the lovely music here? King? I love the music. Yeah, I think it's very, you know, atmospheric. Sets the scene. Knight? Um, uh, Pawn. I literally have no idea what's going on here. Bishop? The passive. Uh, pawn is too good. Huh? Pawn is too pawn? good. Pawn. <laughs> yeah, I said Paul, but Pawn is also okay. Oh, Paul is too good. I thought you said Pawn is too good. And I, I mean, I know the kind of videos that you watch, Fiona, but <laughs> you don't have to share that with all of us. Uh, Rook. Uh, I literally don't know what you're doing either, which doesn't help. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. This is just... 
A big handicap. This is a big, big handicap. Um, queen. <laughs> I want that pawn back. Good move. Good move. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Knight. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna win this one. I can feel it. What's going on in the chat? Fiona, are you like streaming from a nightclub? Yes. <laughs> Night. <laughs> she's always she's always down the clubs. You know, she's always. You can she's find a club. <laughs> Night. What you need? Oh, no. I said night, but I'm, I don't want to play that. Anyway. It's all right. We'll survive. It's all right. You found me in the club. Do -do 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 -do. Bishop. I what you need. I'm making love. So come give me a bishop. It's making a sex thing. You making love. So come give me a hug. Pon. Uh. Uh, I don't know which one. Ah. Maybe d5 is better. Uh, yeah, that was my intention. I swear. Uh, bishop. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh, the jazz is just... I feel so relaxed. <laughs> my my shoulders feel lighter. Uh, uh, bishop. Bishop? I don't know, David. Oh, Rook is attacked. I had a Rook is attacked, then Rook. <laughs> <laughs> you said Bishop, it's too late. It's too late. I didn't see that was attacked. I wanted to defend my little pawns. Ah, oh, dear, dear, dear. It's very jazzy. Oh, Michael kind of should music. like this. Uh, Rook. It's the kind of music you can fall in love to. <laughs> uh, Queen. I feel like we need to become more active. I like that. Okay, now focus, Fiona. Focus. Pawn. I like our position. Me too. P uh, pawn. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that was what I wanted. Good. Good. <laughs> Cheapos are coming. Oh. 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 Uh. Uh. I don't know. King? Good move, good move. Let's do this. Got no, 35 just, seconds though. Yeah. I might have to take over after a while. Yeah, okay, you can take over when no, we're no, no, down to no, 10. No, 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 but like, when we're down to 10, yeah. Uh, bishop. Pawn. Oh no, someone just donated 50 Chess euros. Chess stream from a lobby in Greece. Oh, what? With cheesy no. music. And you said we porn as well. What? Hour Why of did you say shit? porn? Oh no. What, the, what am I supposed to do? What the hell? Oh, I, I thought the show was over. You shouldn't have said one hour. Can we make oh, it? Oh, you're the worst. Uh, what? Pawn. Uh, <laughs> Let's just win this and then we'll worry about And life. it was Morton. Uh, in oh, five cool. seconds, you thank you so much. Well, I'm not sure. Okay, just I'm be just taking over. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that was a blunder. Uh, wow. We've got ten seconds. How am I going to win this with ten seconds? I, I, even, I'm not, I'm a... I even said half an hour for 50 euros and you were like, one hour. <laughs> No, I said one hour for a hundred. No, you said two hours. <laughs> oh shit, the bed. Why did I do that? Can we... I was talking about the one hour thing. Morton. <laughs> okay, if Morton insists on one hour, we'll do one hour. Otherwise, we'll do half an hour. Okay. So it's up uh, to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flag. Oh no. my idea... Oh, no. <laughs> I'm hanging everything. My idea was that for every 50 euro donation, we'll do another an additional half an hour. I can't believe you're swindling him. I know you're just going to. <laughs> Why didn't he just take the drawer? I know. I'm sorry, Paul. I'm I'm such a dirty flagger. Okay, and Morton Morton is a very good man and a very kind man, so he has agreed that half an hour is good. But what we are going to do. I promise uh, we're going to add another half an hour for every 50 euro donation. Is that fair? This is correct. Yes. Okay. So we're going to get going uh, until 
well, I'm 11, 11 my time, so that's 9 UK time, uh, 10 Central European, so yeah. half an hour. And if there thank is you, another, Morten, thank you so much, Morten. Really I mean, Morten is the most generous uh, yeah. of donators ever. So I love thank you, you so much. I you. And I've already written down his address for the postcards. Uh, also, if you do visit the link, if you don't know that, um, I'm showing embarrassing photos. We, you can play David. But we are also sending uh, for, uh, postcards out from Novi Sad, so do visit the link up there, somewhere yes. there, <laughs> and you will see all about that. So thank you ever so much, uh, Morten. We yes, are very, you. very kind. Um, so oh, I feel honored now that people donate. Oh, I feel it's very, humble very and little. Nice. And thank you. Thank and you. That's you really are also, we're getting uh, ever. Ever is my new favorite word, I just keep saying ever, but we're getting uh, closer ever, and ever, closer, ever, ever closer, ever, ever closer <laughs> to our goal. So, um, thank you so, so much. Uh, okay. Morton, your comment as well, so kind, thank you. I'm melting inside, my heart is melting, like, that's nice. Okay. So and t talking of ever, Fiona, your favorite word, ever long, acoustic version, it's my favorite song ever by the Foo Fighters, so check it out, everyone. Yeah, I, anyway. love <laughs> I love the Foo Fighters. I actually, also talking of chili peppers earlier, um, I actually had a ticket to go and see the Red Hot Chili Peppers in Berlin next week, but oh. then my holiday got in the way, so I won't be seeing them. But hopefully... Why didn't you give it to me? I could have I could have gone to meet a friend in Berlin and watch the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We should actually, perfect. we should go to a concert together someday. And we should. Actually, Let's go to, like, Little Mix or... <laughs> One Direction. Let's go One Direction. <gasps> and actually, well, uh, Leonard, our good friend Leonard Oots, Otis, or Otis, <laughs> uh, he's going to see the Fratellis uh, during the London Chess Classic in Camden. And um, the problem is I only know one of their songs. You know the song, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Did I... Uh, there's, Je there's still do, one person. Chelsea, Chelsea. I never know. The, the song isn't called Chelsea Dagger. I always think it should be. We called... should we should look it up, and you should have to sing it if there's another fifty euro donation. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's another incentive, guys. You know, get Fiona to sing. She's her voice. Her voice. You know, it's like I mean, an angel for those of you who haven't heard it before. In the lobby, it would be resonating. Exactly, like, like Morton. Like Morton said in his comment, <laughs> let's keep her in the lobby all night. Let's get her singing in the lobby so that everyone who passes by can just laugh and look and leer and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, they'll think it's a homeless person in the lobby. They'll probably kick her out of the hotel. Like I do, I, I'm occupying the whole lobby as well. Like okay, I can. I actually, I think I can show you around. I do that, so you get a bit. So, let's give us a tour me. of your hotel room as well. <laughs> this is my laptop. So that's how I'm sitting here um, with my two laptops to keep an eye on you guys. And then, this is the lobby. So this is where the family was sitting earlier on, not so far away. There's still one person there who is looking at me like, "What are you doing? You can't see." <laughs> and there's one more person there, and the reception isn't too far away either. So yeah, a lot of stuff um, going on here. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, what a mess. What a mess. Oh, what a mess. Oh, it's all right. Okay. I think, yeah, I think you should be forced to sing anyway. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. Okay, so um, let's play some more chess. Do you have any more challenges? Play some more chess. And thank you, Paul, for the game. Sorry I flagged you in the end. Um, You're a bad, that bad was, person. I'm a bad, bad person. I think, yeah, we got the upper hand in the middle game and then... I lost the exchange when I had about five seconds left, and somehow I don't know how I managed to flag you. I had about five seconds to thirty seconds, but I'm quick with my touchpad. So, um, Blaze Rose says, "Davy boy, I think you should send Fiona some flowers." Um, I don't know. I'd rather spend my money on other things. <laughs> I'd rather send flowers to other girls. But he, he gave me a love heart earlier. I don't know. I did give you a love heart. Should I give you another one? Yeah, give me another. One. <laughs> And Nova Druid says, lol, you're not sorry. Uh, I think you know me too well, Nova Druid, by now. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, let's find another one with a lovely message on it. All the love hearts, they're like, I never swipe know. right. I don't even know how they work. They just all have different messages on them. Okay. But I've, I've, got, I've got so many. Did you find a nice message? This, this, can, be, this can be to Paul Cooksey. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Paul. Um... <laughs> 
this is this is this I is feel after that if, I feel like if this chat if the stream goes on for another few hours it will just descend into absolute nonsense. Yeah, I'll miss Twilight if it goes on for another few hours. I so what was the other last part? Uh, this one is when I spend too much time with you. It's just too much. Just too much. <laughs> and by the way, so since you're being so mean, um, after donation, I will now also try and find a photo, and then we oh, will. Oh no! <laughs> Not one of me, please. There's just too many uh, already. I see. Uh, so this one was the last one. In case you missed it. Uh, and now let me see uh, let's find on here and the music is becoming quite something as well okay so because i talked about our people are talking about our budding romance <laughs> let's give them something funny something which you won't be anticipating at all <laughs> it's a match <laughs> you and david have liked each other oh no 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 no, no. <laughs> So this is something as uh, David and I used to get up to uh, in our free time. More to this I'm pregnant. And yeah, yeah, I was pregnant in the photo. I've since had triplets. Like I gave birth to twins. <laughs> so I thought it was just twins, but another one popped out. So that's why I was so big in the photo. <laughs> and Danger Mouse is saying you give them money and in return you get crushed, flagged and humiliated. <laughs> <laughs> I literally feel like the worst person in the world right now. I'm, I am genuinely sorry, Paul. Um, I, I mean, it wasn't a crush. I mean, if anything, it was the other way around. You were crushing me in both games. I mean, I did flag you. That's true. Humiliated? Nah, we're all friends here. If anyone's being humiliated, it's us. Because Fiona keeps showing these weird photos. And, like, nobody's supposed to know I'm on Tinder. Like, Also, it has to be said, uh, none of us are on Tinder anymore. So this yes. was a, a blast from the past. Um, that was about a year ago or so. Yeah, I think in the Isle of Man. I actually have another photo from the Isle of Man airport uh, with another good story to go with it. So the next donation, I will show a photo of David uh, in the Isle of Man airport with a story behind. <laughs> that sounded a bit wrong, but let's get yeah. back to the chess. Let's get back to the chess. I can I'm, um, I'm waiting for challenges, guys. They've all dried so, up suddenly. Okay. Um, so in I'm the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a bullet game or two. Um, <laughs> I am is a, we are on grinder now. Yes, that's right. David me and grinder. <laughs> you know, I take what I can get. So, um, with all this traveling to tournaments, you know, it's it's like the perk. You know, being on the move all the time, it has its downsides. You know, living out of a suitcase. But the perks are there's always new talent on grinder. So, uh, right, I'm playing a one minute game against Audax, who is rated a hundred points higher than me. So. Okay, can you try and do some commentary on a bullet game? Yes, I'm doing some commentary. So, okay, I've developed my king's side. He hasn't cast his king yet. I've just blundered a pawn, but it's a one-minute game, so pawns mean nothing. And I'm I gonna... thought you said, but it's a woman game, so I was like, what? It's a bullet game. It's not a woman game. And I've just blundered another pawn with a pre-move. I don't know why I've pre-moved. But okay, I'm going to try and make full use of my advantage in development. I'm going to try and give a check on a4 maybe at some point. Um, my knight needs to run away. My main advantage here is that he is behind in development, so we will see what happens. Uh, queen a4, right, I'm pinning and winning. And I was about to say my rook's coming to b1, but his pawn on a2 covers that. Stop laughing, Fiona! The super pets are just wrote in the chat uh, that I'm recruiting with, uh, chess players for my team on Tinder. <laughs> this is actually true, I'm pretty sure she's found other grandmasters on Tinder. Which you might want to elaborate on. Uh, oh, I just, what am I doing? I'm so slow. I'm too weak and too slow. And Super Pets is asking, is that where you met Fiona? Well, I'm going to bring back a blast from the past after David's game. Uh, photos, embarrassing photos of us that have already been on the stream. I think I can put that. And we're going to show you where we met. Uh, that wasn't the first time, though, Fiona. I'm d disappointed you don't remember. And uh, Cap Dagged, of course. Cap Dagged, yeah. I met Fiona. I was with my mum. My mum brought me to a tournament. And Fiona was... We shared a taxi. From the airport. From the airport. And <laughs> David it was, was love, sleeping it was love away. Night. You were sleeping away in the taxi. And I was just having a charming conversation with your mother. And then when we got there, we also went to town together, actually. To buy some yes, groceries. And you were a baby was, at the time. I was still too shy to talk to Fiona. I was oh. being all broody. 
it was like 2006? I think I was 15, maybe you were a I year older. I was 17, older. I think. But you were an absolute baby. I was a handsome baby though. <laughs> Not right now. Not like now. Now I'm a pregnant baby. Uh, let me. So, while David gets the game started, this is Puerto Madryn, Argentina, 2009. And this is where we properly met, I would say. This is where we got talking. Um, oh, what am I doing? And so I've just blundered a piece for anyone who's watching. Um, but I am 10 seconds up on the clock, so let's do this. And Blazeru wants to know what I made of Simon when I first met him. Um, that's actually the funny thing is I can't remember where I first met Simon. Like I usually, I should really, really remember. It must have been somewhere at a tournament in England. But it's pretty embarrassing. None of us remembers. But I remember many encounters with Simon, but not maybe not the first time I met him. Yeah. But I think Simon and I was was sort of love at first sight, like as in friendship. <laughs> No. Mutual respect at first sight. <laughs> yeah, like mutual being bonkers. Like, I think Simon and I are... Um, kindred spirits. Kindred spirits. I can't claim to be anywhere near as bonkers as Simon, but um, Simon and I have a very good understanding, and he's one of my favorite people to just, you know, sit and have a drink with, and talk about life. And... Uh, yeah, maybe also not remembering the first time could be down to too much wine, you never know. That's right. Actually, one of my earliest memories of playing Simon, I think it was maybe the second time I ever played him. I mean, I've played him dozens of times now um, in my career, but I think I was about 13 or 14. And uh, I turned up to the 4NCL game on a Sunday. It was my first time on board one, or maybe second time on board one. Uh, I sat down at the board and I waited for about 25 minutes. And then uh, I, I smelt a bit of alcohol drifting <laughs> towards me and then Simon turned up with a bottle of wine in his hand <laughs> sat down and blitzed out the whole game so that was uh, yeah it uh, it made an impression on me let's say and Danger Mouse is saying the first time he met Simon was at uh, Gausa and you were also there but you were only 12 or so so you weren't at the bar <laughs> yeah well <laughs> Maybe one year later I might have been. No, no, I'm joking. Um, I was very good, actually, at 12. Um, I mean, very well behaved, very focused. Yeah, I played in this uh, Galsall tournament. I think that might have been where Simon played Magnus, if I remember correctly. Um, Simon was in the... There were two all-play-all groups. I think Simon was in one, I was in the other. Um, I nearly got... I think maybe I was 13, actually. I think I nearly got a GM norm, though. I needed to win my last round, but I failed. Um, yeah, Magnus was there as well, so many, many years ago now. And uh, I just want to welcome Christian to the chat, and uh, he's one of our dear moderators at Chess24. He does great work there, so welcome to the chat, Christian. Ah, um, I remember playing Christian on our Chess24 banter bits uh, a couple yeah. of weeks ago. And uh, the family has now returned to the lobby, which <laughs> could explain some background noises. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'll you should tell you that baby to <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was indeed where Simon beat Magnus in that Gausel tour. Uh, right, another bullet game. Question, it's going to do the same thing. The question for David, is the King's Indian a defense you would play in a serious chess game or only casual ones? Uh, good question. Sorry guys, I'm eating a love heart. Um, I'll show you the troublemakers while they're not watching. There they are, look at them. Ooh. Yeah, I think the King's Indian... Um, no, the troublemakers. Ooh, that's a bit racist. Um, King's Indian, I have played it actually, not too much, but quite a few times in my career. Um, I'm too, I'm, maybe I'm slightly scared to play it against extremely well-prepared players because I haven't done as much work on it as I have some openings, but yeah, I've played it as black and I've played against it many, many times as white, so um, it's a serious opening. I mean, anyone who looks at the games of Nakamura, or looks at the games of uh, Bakro, uh Rajabov, like anyone who sees those games will know it's a serious weapon, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's not for the faint-hearted, let's just say that. And Martin is offering to teach me some Norwegian phrases I can yell at him. <laughs> I think you I should actually, do that, Martin. Do what, it now. What can I say? I can say... 
face and uppercut. It's actually embarrassing. I used to live in Norway for maybe eight to ten months and I learned almost nothing. Actually, do you know, David, you might not even notice that when I lived in um, Norway, I got a job for a few months, you know, as what? As a <laughs> topless waitress. No. <laughs> I was doing babysitting in Norway, and it's one of my best memories. I was babysitting uh, two little boys. One of them was only age two, and one was like four or five, but the one of four or five could speak pretty much uh, really good English. So I spent many long hours playing with Thomas the Train, or what do you call him? Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas the Tank Engine. It's a blast from the past. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, that was a great experience. And it was quite a wealthy Norwegian family. Sometimes um, they would call me over uh, just to walk the dog, basically, because they were too busy. <laughs> and oh, wow. They had a lovely dog. Uh, so yeah, I really much enjoyed it. Good memories. That must be why you're so rich now, you know, walking dogs for a for hundred krona per hour. Wait, I don't even know how much that is. And uh, uh, Jay, Jay Craven is saying 50 euros if you go smack the kid. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should curse him in Norwegian and then just smack him. 50 euros, Fiona. I think, you know, that could pay for our expenses. That could pay for someone's flight to Serbia. <laughs> Oh dear, dear. So, and I've I've just won two badges for winning uh, some blitz game uh, bullet games in a row. So I'm going to keep going while okay. you talk away. And uh, Christian wants to challenge you at uh, bullets. So Christian, you've just okay. listened. I'm going to post the details in the chat one more time for you, Christian. And you can just send a bullet challenge to David under the handle Team Chaddington. <laughs> I'm yeah, that baby does not like. It's not like. It's not like Jess. It's like not like you, Fiona. <laughs> okay, I'll wait for you, Christian. Um, nobody's challenging me at the moment, so um, yeah, I'll take any chances I can get. Unbelievable. You know. We stick around for an extra half hour. We stick around for an extra hour, and then uh, nobody wants to play me. Gutted. Gutted. I'm just down. <laughs> Oh, that baby, I mean, someone's throwing also, a tantrum. It's also uh, 11 o'clock in the evening here, so I'm not sure why that baby is still awake. Just go and tell the parents, tell them they're bad parents. Just. Actually, when I, uh, when I was babysitting in Norway, there was one time, um, there was only one time where I had to put uh, the children to bed in the evening. Usually, it was really the best job in the world because usually they would call me when the kids were asleep already. So I could just sit there, watch TV, surf the internet, oh, and wow. be paid for doing pretty much nothing. You're living the dream, Fiona. Yeah. I can pay to watch TV. Wow. <laughs> but then one day I had to put the children to bed. And uh, the parents told me that if the little one absolutely refused to sleep, I can uh, put him in their bed and maybe just lie down there with him for a little while. So um, I wow. first tried to put him That's to sleep cute. in his bed but he wouldn't sleep, like, there is nothing I could do. I even remember I was chatting to a friend of mine on Facebook at the time, and he said, just leave him alone and he'll just fall asleep. So for a while, I just left him alone, but then he couldn't even walk. He must have been less than two years old. So he just came crawling into the living room. Aww. So it was like, oh, what am I doing? So eventually, I just took the two boys and put them in the parents' bed, and I just lay there. <laughs> so the three of us were just lying there, basically trying to fall asleep. And yeah, the parents kids... might be watching now. You know, you, they might be traumatized by your treatment of their kids. <laughs> no, I think I think we all got along quite well. Um, but yeah, good good memories, and um, I like to still keep up with them uh, on Facebook, see how the kids are doing. Oh, how nice. Anyway, yeah. I should stop I, chatting shit and let no, you do it's some good. Chat. It's not that much shit. I mean, it's mostly shit, but it's not much shit. Um, yeah, I'm just playing another bullet game. I'm playing. I'm going to start doing what I usually do when I play bullet and play the hippo. Oh, God. What did I just um, yeah, I play the hippo in every game. Uh, might as well. It's more fun that way. But, uh, yeah, so any of you who don't know, the hippo is just. Oh, you'll see the setup when I start playing it a bit more often. In the meantime, that baby better get lost. Otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on tilt. I'm gonna go on tilt big time. So. Oh, that baby! Wow. <laughs> There's like they're now like I can't even show you on the webcam because there are a lot of them and they're very close to me. But there's like 
I don't know if this is too friendly for me. It's like at least 10 people and a lot of small children. Don't they know that Fionchetta is streaming right now? Like, <laughs> what, what's, what's going on? Right, let's check, mate. I will talk about chess more next game. Uh, any challenges yet? No, no more challenges. Guys, what's happening? I'm just trying to get our rating up at the moment. We're nearly hitting 2,000. It's been a long journey. It has been. Quest to glory. Ah, and uh, Christian, has Christian sent you a challenge yet? No, I think uh, he said a while ago, he said he's setting things up. I okay. should play some other games first. So, okay, okay. Um, yeah, actually, I'm, that's what I'm thinking about, guys. Um, maybe if I create a new handle or something on all these chess websites, maybe one day I'll do some streaming and I'll try to get to the top of the leaderboard in every website or every time control possible, uh, playing the openings that you guys, you guys choose. So um, that could be something fun for next time. In the meantime, let's stick to... And the truth by CC is saying, Fionchetta, you can tell us, that kid is Magnus, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it would yeah. be quite funny if it was Magnus throwing a tenth room. <laughs> oh, yeah, time. it wouldn't be the first time, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it would be quite funny. Maybe Magnus in the making. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe the next, the next Maggie. Oh... I said I was playing the hippo every game, and then I forgot. <laughs> it's actually... right. I can't really hear you, Fiona, it's so loud. There we go. I'm a dirty trickster, and I'm playing some tactics. So remember, guys, it's all on a touchpad, so if I mouse slip, which has happened a few times, then that's my excuse. I hope this is bearable for you, some of you still. I'm you should struggling. do more talking. I can't. Really I'm struggling. Do. I'm really struggling. Um, yeah, so talking. I am a queen up for not enough. Essentially, a queen for a rook. I'm going to pre move everything else, even if I blunder pieces. Just, there's a check. There's a threatening. I'm going to go for his king, actually, just to check him a couple of times. And there he goes. He runs out of time. So, right, another one. Another. Okay, so I think uh, Christian is going to challenge Christian. You. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And Someone called Karaoke Rules has challenged me. I think that might be a sign. Okay, let's play him. <laughs> karaoke rules. And someone what? is okay, trolling well. me, saying I should talk some more about babies sitting at ranches. <laughs> I think, essentially, what we know from this is that Fiona is very broody and she wants some babies. So if anyone wants to be her baby daddy, then I think they should make themselves known. I think she, all she wants is a baby and this is just her way of telling us. And Jay Craven is asking... Um, Jay Craven... Yes, J. Crew is asking. <laughs> J. Crew is asking about the Magnus uh, Hikaru match, and we talked about that earlier in the show. Um, so yeah, I think essentially the very short version is that we were both pretty impressed with their play. We we're both very impressed. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it was just their resilience and their tactical awareness, even when <laughs> with 30 seconds left on the clock, it's pretty impressive. So. Especially Magnus, I mean, he never cracks, never crumbles. He's just always, always on top form, somehow. Anyway, yeah, back to the bullet. Um, my king is rather open, but I'm two points up, and I'm behind on the clock. I'm behind on the clock. What's happened? And I've just let a check happen. Yeah, and you prompted, you prompted some pretty nonsensical comment from Amams. <laughs> About? About what? about uh, someone who wants to be my baby daddy. Oh, wow. I mean, why is it nonsense? I mean, that's that's what you want, isn't it, Fiona? You don't have to hide it from us. We're all friends here. And uh, I actually, I have some very good news. The babies and their parents have now left the lobby with suitcases. So I, I thought the good news was about to be announcing your pregnancy. I mean, that was, that was a quick one. And there we go, checkmate. Woo! We should ring a bell when it's a checkmate, just like chess.com. Bing. And 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 I'm just saying, isn't Fiona too young for a baby? Um, that's very nice of you. I'm not so young anymore. She's 48. 
She's 48. She's just wearing loads of makeup right now. And, like, she's hidden the wrinkles very well. Um, yeah. Uh, can you maybe find Christian? Because Christian, he can find uh, you. Okay, I will try this. I'm not an expert with, um, with Chess24. Uh, I think his name is C.P. Coited. Like the same as in the shed there. Let's do this. Uh, is there a number at the end of his name? I feel like there might be. I uh, don't think so. Anamps. She's slightly older than 22. Slightly. I mean, she's, she's so 48. Slightly. I already told you guys. She's 48. And bless her who is recommending getting a goldfish, which is easy to look after. KP Quitter. Can't find you. You, my friend. Oh, there we are. There we go. Good. Okay. And I just noticed there's a challenge from Jolly Bishop who donated earlier, I think. So, okay, uh, so I'll play you next. Let's play uh, Christian and then we'll give Jolly Bishop a two game match and then we'll call it quits unless there is another 50 euro donation let's, coming in. Let's do that. 50 euros, guys. It's not much to keep us going for another half hour to an hour. <laughs> and Anam uh, seems desperate to send me some sperm samples. <laughs> Which is very kind of you, but I might come back to you in 20 I years. Should, I think <laughs> you should take what you can get, Fiona. Take what you can get. <laughs> I'm being very slow here. What's happened here? I, I, I don't understand. There seem to be a lot of people checking out now, but it's 11 p.m., which is slightly weird. They're checking you out. <laughs> okay, where's the commentary? Oh, sorry. Yeah, commentary. Um, I'm worse. I might be getting checkmated. <laughs> um, here we go. Christian has played a great game, and he might be winning some material as well. Um, I'm going to try and trick him, though, and I'm slightly ahead on the clock by about five seconds, and um, my rooks are getting active. His king's a bit more open than mine. And there we go, Rook on A1 is falling. And I'm going to pick up F5, and I'm going to pre-move that as well. And I think 27 seconds should be long enough to win this position. Mm -hmm. And he has resigned. Let's give him another game. Um, he's waited okay. a long time, Christian. Yeah, I play the Karakan. This is my favourite line. Um, it's a load of dog poo, but um, it's tricky. It's very tricky. And it gets people to think, and that's the main thing to do in Bullet. <laughs> and Christian is blaming you for his defeat, saying you talk too much. <laughs> oh, that's mean. That's mean. Fiona was telling me to talk. Fiona was telling me to talk. And it's my move. Right, let's do this again. Let's go Hippopotamus. Okay, so uh, one more game against Christian, and then two uh, games. Against Jolly Bishop. Against Jolly Bishop. And maybe one of them should be a hand and brain, maybe the first one. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, here we go. I played a hippopotamus. So before my g4 move, my position was symmetrical and it was so beautiful. Oh, uh, and Christian's let me trap his knight. This is a common trap in the hippopotamus. There's so much going on now in this lobby. I, I thought there was barely any people. There were barely any people there. Oh, what's happening? I thought I was winning a piece. Now I have to be careful, but I'm still up on the clock. And I'm going to fix the queenside pawn structure, and then I'm going to use my extra piece. His c pawn's very weak, and I'm going to take it. And I'm going to swap off some pieces. I'm going to take that. And take on s6. Ooh, he's going to let me take everything now. Where is the win? Where is? The... And twenty seconds should be long enough to win this, even with my pooey mouse pad. How can you uh, call them pooey? Pooey, like I, I don't want to swear. I don't want to be rude <laughs> and lewd. Uh, I'm going to block everything so he has no pawn checks. That's a good trick in bullet. So he has no checks, and then I'm just going to slowly protect my rook on c5, and then push my b pawn, and then lawn mower checkmate him. So. These are common bullet traps as well to save time, um, just protect everything, pre-move to stop any checks and the captures, and there we go. Great. 
Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, thank you, Christian, as well. Uh, yeah, thanks, Christian, for the games. Hopefully I'll play you another time. I think we promised uh, a couple of games to Jolly Bishop, so I'm going to accept those now. But yeah, thanks, Christian. We'll play another time. Blah, blah. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be gentle. And Anamps wants to mate with you, Fiona. That's nice. No, he's right, talking should... about something else. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Henning loves the older lady, and Fiona's okay. 48, so maybe that'll work. Porn. Hand and brain. Yes, porn. Jolly Bishop, here we go. I oh, want to know no. your name. Oh, no, don't be stupid. Pawn. Pawn. <laughs> now you have to play pawn five times in a row. It's just <laughs> as punishment. Okay, that's number. is that number two or number one? H4. Let's make it ten. Ten pawn moves in a yeah. row? Three. Okay, that's three. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is going to be tough. Four. Four. Five. Five. <laughs> oh, I'm running out of good pawn moves. <laughs> Oh, please, Jolly Bishop, take forgiveness. <laughs> uh, like, take mercy on us, I mean. It's hard work. Okay, at least it's got him thinking. It's got him thinking. Uh, another pawn move, yeah? H5, Harry. Six. How did, what does Simon say when he pushes Harry? <laughs> okay, six, seven. Eight. Okay, I think I'm going to be able to do ten without losing any pieces, hopefully. Uh, let's do this one. Block it all up. Is that eight? eight. That's eight in a row. Eight pull moves in a row. And then I'm going to start checkmating him on the king side. <laughs> so two more to go. Oh no, he's attacking a pawn. I should have left it defended. Okay, nine. <laughs> if he goes knight g3, I have to move a pawn. No. And I think he will go. He must have heard I us think by now. He must have heard us and by now, Jolly Bishop. Uh, Christian has to go, but thank you very much uh, for tuning in and thanks for the games. Thanks, Christian, yeah. Fiona will see you back in Hamburg or what? Actually, no, he's no, not wait. in Hamburg. He, I've, oh, he's never, a I've never met uh, Christian. He's oh, okay. from the Netherlands. Oh, oh on, he okay. let you go. He let me go. Let's go B4. That's okay, another corner. Okay, so move. now I'm back in brain mode. Back in brain mode. It might be an 11th move in a row. It might be, yeah. He takes one of our pawns. Should we try and make 14 pawn moves in a row? My lucky number. Your lucky number, okay, let's go for it. <laughs> no, but I have a feeling we might get checkmated. Let's say 10. <laughs> let's just go for pawn as often as possible. Pawn. So that's 11. Three more. We're a minute up on the clock as well, that's important. You can do it. Three more. Three more. 14. And someone yeah. is suggesting knight f2, which is a quite a good idea. <laughs> that, that would have been a very good idea a couple of moves ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So how many more? What is this? 12 or oh, 11? That's that's 11. Shall I do another one? Okay, one more. 12. Okay. No, I think 13 might be the maximum. Come on, you Four. can do 14. One more, <laughs> one more, one more, one more. One more. Uh, one what? more. Every other pawn move, now every pawn move loses more. a pawn. Come on, one your more. lucky number. Oh. <laughs> Look at our position, it's a mess. So Jolly Bishop, we, we promise we're not trolling you. Okay, so um, now I get to pick a piece. I'll say yeah. Bishop. You want to take that, don't you? Yeah, and just get rid of them. <laughs> get rid of the, those menacing knights Knight. on outposts. Knight. Knight at the rim, aren't dim. Oh god, I just blundered a rook. <laughs> Which rook? I don't see it yet. King. Okay. Uh, the one in the corner. Oh, we didn't see it. Okay. I also didn't see it. Okay, good. I don't know what you're talking. Ah. Been bad. Yes. Okay, so. Um, mm -mm. King. Yes. Safety. King safety. Push your pawns and then put the king behind. That's what I don't recommend doing. Light. Yeah, development. Better late than never. We're only, we're only clearly worse now. Yeah, <laughs> we're not lost. <laughs> um. Knight. Yes, blockade. That's another good thing to do, guys. Blockade past pawns if you can. Blockade isolated pawns, past pawns, everything. Queen. Yes, and is that knight trapped? Oh, look at it. Look at that knight. I think we're better. Of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. 
a knight has only one square, can go to d2. I mean, he'll lose his past c pawn. But, uh, oh, he's resigned. Maybe he didn't see his knight could escape. Thank you, Jolly Bishop. Shall we offer another rematch? Sure. Two um, yeah, Jolly Bishop, thank you for donating. Uh, and let's play another Hand and Brain game if we have time. And then maybe we'll call it a day after that. Um, unless there's another 50 euro donation to keep us going. So we have going. one more game. We have five more minutes. <laughs> We've got five minutes, guys, to donate to keep us going for another half hour, another hour. Depending on how much you donate. But, um, Imagine yeah, if someone fun. just donated 500 euros. We'd be here if someone right. donated 500 euros, we'd have to be here another, what, 10 hours? Actually, I mean, the nice thing is where I'm sitting now, I'll show you, it's sort of a couch, like a big couch. Guys, like, if, <laughs> so if each of you, there's 58 of you donating, if each of you donate a little bit, it will keep Fiona in that lobby, the, in that hotel lobby, all night. People will think she's homeless. She'll get kicked out, and I'm it would be the funniest thing ever. I'm falling asleep already. I'm not sure. I, I probably don't make a good homeless with like, two laptops and stuff. But yeah. Oh, where I'm sure you'd make a very good homeless, Fiona. Uh, where is Fiona? Fiona is in Crete, in Greece. Uh, Fiona was hoping to see some sun. But it's just been raining for my first three days here, which is bloody incredible. But I'm hoping tomorrow, finally, I can hit the pool. Monday, Tuesday, happy days. Oh, I should have made it rainy days, damn it. Okay, so let's uh, give Jolly let's... Bishop his revenge. Yeah, Jolly Bishop, he seems to have disappeared. I've challenged him, but no, he's, he's rejecting us. He's playing it, he's playing hard to get. <laughs> and Mike Loping is back in the chat, my favorite, my new friend, my best friend. <laughs> Okay, how much money do you need this time? Well, Mike, uh, since you've just arrived, you arrived a bit too late because we're just about to stop. But if you yeah. donate 50 euros or more, we will go for another half an hour. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm open to any offers, basically. But Fiona, she's quite a, she's quite a high-class elite. <laughs> you know, you need to pay for her company. Absolutely. Her <laughs> okay, yeah. so um, are there no more challenges? There are no more challenges. Oh, Disappointing. Disappointing. Shall I play one last minute, one minute game, maybe? Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Fiona might need to worry about a suspicious concierge at some point. That is right. Actually, the, the people are Ooh. very, very lovely here. I have to say, it's been um, impressive. Oh, here we go. We've got a challenge. Uh, we've got two challenges. One from Matthew Carr, one of my favourite arbiters. Oh, Matthew. <laughs> Oh, Welcome. can we play Matthew? Let's play Matthew. Can we play I Matthew? I also want to play Matthew. Can we play Hand and Brain? Let's play play Hand and Brain with Matthew. I'm going to accept and I'm just going to say hi, man. He's one of the nicest guys anyone could ever meet. Uh, Pon. Fiona is the captain, she is the boss. That is absolutely yes. right. <laughs> this is correct. And, yeah, Matthew. And Chess BS has now joined us. And the thing with Chess BS is you never know if this is Mikey or Vladdy, but I, I suspect it's uh, Mikey tonight. Mikey G, sing for us, Mikey. Mikey. Record that song for me, it would make my year. Uh, I would literally be playing it. Night. Pong. Pong. I have never played an open Sicilian with white or black in my life. Um, sorry, I was just chatting away with Matthew on Chess24. <laughs> um, you've never played a Sicilian, an open Sicilian? Um, you haven't lived? I haven't lived, no. Fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people would say that I misspent Fun. my youth because I never played... Uh, oh! I meant to go G6. <laughs> that was a mouse. Si Simon would like that move, I think. It was a, blunt, a porn blunder. I <laughs> know, I can see that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. Bishop. Um, okay, let's do this. Yeah. And Mike. Chess BS. Hi, Mikey and Vlad. Um, here we go. Yeah, they're joining us just as we're about to finish. So. I think it's uh, Mikey tonight. Um, Tom. But yeah, uh, Mikey, just to get back and do this thingy here, one second. 
and we will I will come back uh, to the game. Don't leave it too long. Yeah. You won't push page four. Just say a piece, and then you can do this. Uh, this is not what I wanted to show. Uh, I'll say fawn again. What? I don't know what I'm doing. Literally, uh, Fiona. Just... I wanted to show you guys this. So my G. Uh, uh, I missed that. Uh, Mikey, uh, super gem, it is. Uh, Queen. Might not be a super gem, but he's a super. Uh, he's a super. Like, if he was a woman, he'd be a super WGM. <laughs> <laughs> super WGM. Michaela Grover. Um, no, it's going to be a lot Michelle, of fun. Michelle G. <laughs> uh, Queen. I, I need to probably hurry up a bit. I'm swapping off Queens. <laughs> oh no. I don't want to get checkmated. And... Night. Yes. That time it was actually a good swap. <laughs> oh dear, dear. Yeah, so I'm excited. We've won our pawn back. Uh, we are half a minute behind on the clock. Though. Nice. It's Latte Impaler now, I don't believe that. Bob the Impaler. Bob the Impaler. Bishop, come on, you need to give me the chance. Oh, you said Bishop. <laughs> I didn't say Bishop. Uh... And yeah, as someone is pointing out what you mentioned on Twitter earlier, that the five of you would make a great boy band, and maybe you could explain to me, uh, or to not to me because you have already, but to everyone watching, which role everyone would get. Uh... Yeah, so um, as I was saying, I uh, okay, let's start with uh, Mikey Chi. Uh, he would be the musical talent, he'd be the brains behind everything, he'd be the, the instruments, the songwriting. The... Okay, and here we go, checkmate. Thank you, Matthew, for the game. So, yeah, Mikey G would be the music, um, Simon would be the singing, the voice. You know, any of you who've seen his karaoke video, um, that's you know, he he would be the star, the ginger star of, uh, of our team. Um, yeah, Niels Grandelius, he'd be the, you know, the cool one with the beard, the slightly hipstery one that all the girls secretly have a crush on, you know, a guilty crush. He's the, like, the rugged, manly one. And, uh, Vlad would be the, you know, the chiseled model. He'd be the Harry Styles, Vlad. He'd be the one that all the girls are running after. Actually, Vlad, I think he's then... in the chat with us. I think Bob, he's... hey. Oh, no! Martin just donated Maybe I should create Jess24 user oh, and crush we're gonna you guys. have to stay. Another half hour of this. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm not sure if I should thank you or curse you, Morton. <laughs> oh, Morton, thank also, you so much. We've also gone 15 minutes over time already, over what we promised. Uh, I think we have to do the half hour, though. <laughs> Let's oh. do half an hour. <laughs> thank, thank you, Morton. Thank you so much, Morton. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what was I going to say? I don't oh, even wow. know anymore. <laughs> I, I was about to... Yeah. yeah, I was about to say my role as well, my role in the boy band. You know, there's five of us. My role would just be the token, you know, ethnic minority one. <laughs> I'd be the I'd be the Zayn Malik. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, Morton. Wow. Wow. Thank you. That's really kind of you. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm gonna keep chatting all this rubbish. You know, I was I was genuinely planning to watch Twilight on TV, and now it's probably finished. And yeah, um, he's going to. So Martin, yeah, I was. I wanted to. Say, that's what I wanted to say. Like I'm getting so tired, I can't remember for two seconds what I want to say. But I told you how when someone donates um, the message, uh, they can type a message, and Martin is basically trying to get us so tired that he can create a Chess Twenty Four account and crush us. <laughs> I think that's a good idea, Martin. You know, by the time, well, I reckon we're already getting there. You know. Uh, maybe another hour or two. I'm just going to be passed out. Um, it's been a long, day, long, long day, and uh, also it's, yeah. here it's now 11:15 in the evening. I'm, usually, I was in bed by now for a while. So. Yeah, I mean, as we've established, Fiona's an old woman. She's 48 now. You know, she's got to have an early night. You know, she needs her beauty sleep. Yeah. and we've now got <laughs> 67 viewers, which is, I think, the most we've had tonight. So let's keep going, um, people. Since we are here. Uh, do send challenges to David because we are pretty good at talking rubbish. But um, do send your challenges to David to Team Chaddleton. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna play. 
I've got one challenge at the moment. It's a one-minute game with karaoke rules. I know I've played him once already. I'll give him another rematch. Um, yeah, yeah. Challenge me, guys. Challenge me. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And uh, in the meantime, Cat Rocket Moo, thank you. Uh, we didn't mean to be charming. It's just purely an accident, and we know it's a bit chaotic. So thanks for sticking with us. Yeah, as I said, I mean, if you missed the, the start of the show, was a lot more chaotic than it was now, especially when we were just about to start. My laptop let me down pretty badly. Uh, so we started with a bit of a delay. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is early days for my stream. Today is the first time I actually started to stream on my own without uh, Vlad. Vlad, um, our great friend, and uh, not only is he our friend, but he's also a great IT guy, so he was always there in the past to help me get started. So I did manage to start the stream on my own, and I've managed to keep it running for three hours now, so that's something, don't you think? <laughs> That's something, that's something. I mean, ah, oh, and I just blundered a piece. Grr, I'm literally a rook down now. I just sacked a piece and blundered one at the same time. <laughs> I'm the worst. Actually, I would quite, I think people would uh, probably <laughs> enjoy seeing you tilt. I've seen you tilt. Ah, oh, checkmate in one. Boom. Yeah, you've seen me tilt. I do get quite emotional. I can't, I, I end up dancing or shouting or hitting stuff, so. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys won't witness that yet. You know, it's far too early at night for that stuff. Um, and Tony McCarthy, uh, let me see. D Danger Mouse is saying Twilight is nearly finished. Lesbian Vampire Killers is on it. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that one yet, actually. I mean, it's got two of my favourite things, lesbians and, and vampires. No, no, Make it an hour. <laughs> Keep the embarrassing David pictures coming to what, what are you laughing at, Fiona? <laughs> There's just another 50 euros donation coming. Oh my god, are we going to have to be here another couple of hours? I think until 12 at the moment, uh, because oh it was 11 god. before, but we are getting so many donations. <laughs> Thank you, Nova Druid. Thank like, you that's... for that. Oh. And also, someone, uh, the Nova I'm buzzing, Druid, I'm buzzing. Nova Druid just asked for another uh, picture. Funnily, I need to talk to you about that with Vlad, and I will be soon later. Um, but what I, when I try and bring up the challenges, uh, not the challenges, can't even speak. But first of all, thank you very much. But uh, thank you, Nova Druid. So I think I, you're my favorite person tonight in the chat. <laughs> and Morton, of course. But and Morton, I'm Nova now, Druid and Morton. I'm now going to bring up another photo. But every time I try to bring up a photo, I can notice even my laptop is going slow. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. But stay tuned. Um, so that's the boys' band we were just talking about. I promise the next stop will a photo for a man of David, and that was uh, in the Isle of Mario in the airport. We were just talking about sleeping on couches. Well, there you can see Dave uh, sleeping on a couch oh, in no. a man. Uh, I said that there was a story, and the story is that um, David and I actually missed our plane, <laughs> back, missed our flight back to London, and that was the only time I've ever seen David get angry in my entire life. But oh my God! David, is that went, a piece of tissue on me? What? I, I don't know. It's already gone. I can't see the photo anymore. I didn't even know you had this one. <laughs> oh my Jesus! Um, but yeah, here we go. Uh, let me see what... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you, Morton. That is my diaper showing. Like, I had a, I had a, you know, I, my, my bladder was, you know, playing up, so I had to wear an adult diaper. <laughs> and I didn't realise it was on show, so, um, whew, wow. And just for start is saying, David only loves people who donate a lot of money. <laughs> Feels bad, man. I had hoped no. that we could start a promising relationship. I'm not that fickle, Jess for schlaft. Um... <laughs> Well, I am quite fickle, actually, yeah. I, basically, I'll sell my body to the highest bidder, but... Um, no, <laughs> on a serious note, um, Morton, you've been, like, the kindest guy ever. Um, and Nova Druid, yeah, thank you for the donation. You've asked some great questions, actually, about English chess and about chess in general, so um, that was the only reason. Also, if you click on the flat, on the link flat posted, it says, what if Morton keeps donating until you will die out of lack of sleep? Well, that's a, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. And uh, yeah, there was a question I was going to get to that when the donation came in from Tony McCarthy. Uh, would David want to play me in a longer time control than give me a bit of analysis afterwards? Um, I think if you gave us a donation, David would play a five-minute game and give you Thorough. 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 
thorough right. analysis of yes. the game. But longer than five minutes would be uh, really too much. Yes. I mean, depending on how much you donate, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you want to keep us here for another half hour, then you, we can play a 15 minute game. But, uh, if you donate a grand, uh, we can make it a classical time control game. <laughs> Even even five hundred maybe, but, um, but yeah, <laughs> no, that's a joke. Anyway, yeah, Tony McCarthy, um, yeah, challenge me for five minutes, and we'll we'll happily um, we'll happily have a chat about the game. Um, I mean, during and after, if you want. Um, yeah, wow, I'm I'm, I'm genuinely honoured though at these donations. I didn't expect this tonight. I thought we we're just yeah. having a quick stream. Yeah. I could go off to watch Twilight, then Lesbian Vampire Killers, and I'd have the perfect night, you know, in my in my pajamas. Yeah. Which some of you saw earlier in my pajamas. Uh, in my pajamas, tucked up in bed, really early, ready for. Well, most of my friends are out partying Saturday night. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm ready saying, for another. Chest um, Matthew Carr just chest messaged session. me on Facebook saying, "Hi Fiona, started watching the stream. Really enjoying it. Tell David thanks for the compliment." No, oh, thank you, Matthew. Like, I genuinely love Matthew. He's like one of the kindest, nicest, most polite guys ever, and uh, it's always a pleasure to see his face at tournaments. Um, it's always nice when arbiters are super friendly. And uh, yeah, um, I've had a lot of, spent a lot of time with him this year actually in uh, Isle of Man and Gibraltar, and uh, I see him around all the time. So and British Championships. So yeah, I Matthew Carr. I can only second that. I also see a lot of Matthew, and it's always great. I mean, it's great to see people at just tournaments um, that you know will always have a smiley face on, and Matthew is one of those people, I think. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, he's just got a lovely smile, <laughs> and yeah. Um, Makes the chess world a brighter place. So, um, Mike Loping, that's quite morbid, actually. Um, hmm. Anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway, do you have any challenges? I don't have any challenges any right challenges. now. Okay. Any challenges. Guys, Where are the, these challenges? The show is going guys? for another 35 minutes at the moment. Um, so, if you, well, we are going to Gonna keep play going. But if game. you uh, take advantage of your chance, it's not every day you can. Um, play David Howell. So do send him your challenges and uh, just find the account Team Chuddleton and send him. Yeah. Yes, send me a request. I might play a bullet game while I wait. While I wait. Uh, and Vlad is actually coming for you. <laughs> oh, Vlad. Bob is coming for me. Trickachu, where is he? Trickachu is coming. I, so, Vlad and... I remember once... Oh, sorry, you go. No, Fiona. no, you go first. I, I was going to say, I remember once playing at least until we, we hate each other. Like We're like pretty decent friends, but we were hating each other for those few hours, just trying to beat the hell out of each other. I would say you're more than pretty decent friends. You're kind of borderline lovers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's playing hard to get, but I know that one day we will be lovers soon. And Blazaru, that's actually a, a very good idea. Also, just uh, to get it Aww. in order. Uh, so. Just for you guys watching, he's not playing Vlad at the moment, um, but he will soon. And Chess for start is saying, my idea to make the stream longer for money is starting to get really profitable. I think I deserve at least 10% of the profits. <laughs> it was a good idea indeed. Um, we'll send you a postcard if you want. Yeah. And then, I mean, yeah, you guys got to remember though that we're not doing this for profit. We're just doing it to pay our expenses for this European competition. So, I mean, it's greatly appreciated, but unfortunately it doesn't go in any of our pockets. It just goes on flights and accommodation. And hopefully it will help us beat the likes of Kramnik at this coming tournament. So. Absolutely. And Blazaro is saying, Fiona, could you stream when you are in Serbia with the team just to say hello to your friends? I think that's actually a brilliant idea. And um, it probably won't be a long stream, but maybe just a half an hour, one hour stream one night when all of us are together. Hopefully the internet connection uh, will be good enough. And I think that's a brilliant idea just to probably not play in it just, but just tell you how is Serbia is, how the tournament is going, and just say hi. So I'll try and organize that. Uh, and I think someone has just challenged me. I'll see if it's Vlad in a minute. But um, I'm just trying to win this one minute game against a very good player, actually. Uh, Chess Climb, he's been completely outplaying me. And I've got some threats against his king, but it feels like I, oh, I've won on time as well. And we're nearly at 2100. Woo! Chess Climb, thank you for the game. And Gadzinsko is saying, hello, is this Fiona's new Twitch account? Love the name. Uh, well, yeah, uh, the name came up after uh, many games of brainstorming, but yeah, I created the account, when was it? Two weeks ago, when you were in Hamburg? For the 12-hour stream, and I also um, changed my Twitter handle to Fiongata as well, so that they're all in sync. And yeah, there we go. Glad you like it. 
That's right, yeah. No, I think it's a great name. Uh, I still would have preferred uh, Princess Fiona or Fiona Big Booty, but uh, uh, no, I think Fiona Chess is a great name. And thank you, uh, Chess for Schlaft, but, uh, who says that, I'm not sure if it's a he or she, but it's just here to fancy David. So, you know, send me a number, you know, we. this might be the start of a beautiful relationship. You know, I, it's been a long time for me, I need to... Um, no, it'll be nice to get to know you. And did you see Anam saying Fiona and David should name oh. the next stream exotic? Uh, no, erotic. I'm, I'm so tiny. But... Erotic chess stream with GM David Howell, his sexy accent, and Liv Taylor. Liv Tyler? Liv Tyler? You do look a bit like Liv Tyler. <laughs> or do you mean Elizabeth Taylor? Maybe she means Elizabeth. Maybe you mean Elizabeth Taylor because Elizabeth Taylor is close to your age. I mean, of 48. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I thank you for the compliments about my accent. I just genuinely think it's uh, pretty dull and normal, but um, thank and you. That's can you fine. maybe find uh, Vlad because he's on his phone and he doesn't I know will. how to challenge you. And Linnell says, hit me up on Grinder, David. I will after this. Let's find each other. And in the meantime, I'm going to find Bob, our friend Vlad. Um, for some action. Some bullet game. And I'm going to um, find a link actually to. Uh, uh, um, Shall I play one minute or three minutes with Vlad? I think three minutes because he's on his phone. So. Okay. Oh, but I want to flag him. He's a dirty trickster. <laughs> anyone? Yeah. Anyone who knows. Um, anyone? Someone says F word ban ban. I hope that's in the chat rather than us. I don't think I swore. I think anyway. I swore. I told <gasps> you. I think Fifi, I told you. was the was the F word Fiona? No, I told you to fuck off. <laughs> no, don't say that. That's she. She meant flip off. Flip off. <laughs> well, no, sometimes my mouse just go, goes completely berserk, and it's doing that just now. <laughs> doing that. Oh. Um, None of oh, us are really doing anything. I've got. <laughs> um. Oh, what's happening to Vlad? I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm um, just. I can't move my. Ah, oh, dear, dear. Okay, I'm while sorry. you sort out your life, while yeah. you sort out your life. Uh, Nova <laughs> Druid, question for David. Which two defenses against 1d4 and 1e4 would you recommend to a positional player starting out in two 2016? Um, against 1e4, I would recommend. Uh, actually, you, you asked the question about Michael Adams earlier, and I would recommend 1e5. Um, and also the Karakhan. Um, I would actually maybe even model my repertoire a around someone like Michael Adams or Mark Hebden or Sergei Karyakin or, you know, these kind of guys uh, who play E5 all the time or, I mean, with the Karakhan, Ria Zantsev, Dreyev, all these guys. Um, those are very, very solid openings. Against D4, I'd recommend the Queen's Gambit declined and the Nimzo Indian. It's true, Gatsinsko is saying that I need to set the stream to mature audience if I want to swear, so I'm very sorry if there is any young kids watching us. Of course I didn't mean to say mm -hmm, off, I meant to say flip. Flip off. Flip. It was a mouse flip. <laughs> mouse oh. flip off. It was a, yeah, a flip of the tongue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm, Have you I'm managed to, have you? <laughs> I've challenged Vlad, our friend Vlad, oh. but he doesn't seem to have found my challenge. In the meantime, um, in the meantime, I might have to play someone else. I saw Red Fish Finder has just challenged me Let's play not long Red ago, and, and he's in the chat. So, Trickachu, if you can play me, that will be great. We still have quite a long time to go, so I'm going to play Red Fish Finder, who's in the chat. And if uh, Vlad Hamitsevich. Uh, ham sandwich, as we call him. Um, Vlad ham sandwich. And again, uh, credit goes to sure. Anton. Anton just comes up with so many great things. Yes, Anton Dubeck. <laughs> right, so here we go. Um, I've got an extra center pawn in the opening, which I'm pretty happy with. Looks like a reverse d4 opening, where black now has, uh, has the time and the space and the center. So yeah, I'd recommend this to all of all of you guys. Control the center if you can. Um, now it looks like I'm getting the two bishops, which I love. And I think Vlad is going. 
<laughs> Vlad is saying he's because he is actually visiting his mom at the moment, so he's not at home, doesn't have a laptop or anything. And he was, I think, on his phone or on a tablet, but he's now going to switch on his mom's dusty computer. Hashtag Windows 95. Oh, wow. That's dedication. That's true, true love for chess, <laughs> switching on Windows 95. Actually, um, maybe Vlad will have to donate if he wants to keep the stream going and exactly. get the Vlad, chance to you know, play us. Put your hands in your pockets, Vlad. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, but that, no, that's dedication, and it will be worth it. You'll see. Um, I mean, he's not quite a grandmaster. He should be, but um, you'll see grandmaster on grandmaster action, and that's what you know. That's what the money's for. Yeah. That's what. And I think Vlad uh, Flight might have a chance to get his last GM norm in December because, um, funnily, the first two. So he has two norms, and the two norms he has were at tournaments uh, where he played with my dad. He only went to a tournament with my dad twice and got annoyed each time. And he's going to another one in December, so hopefully that will be it. And if you wonder who we're talking about, uh, this is Vlad, who's the picture above on the right hand side. Is that correct? So he's yeah, he's the he's the Harry Styles of our One Direction band, <laughs> of our chess chess version of One Direction. Um, yeah, he's he's the male model kind of one. The male model, and he will also be on our team. Uh, yeah. In Just December. look at those. Look at those chiseled cheekbones, though. You know, that's worth a that's worth a donation. And if sure. you don't know who Vlad is, you will know on Wednesday because he will be streaming with me uh, then. Yeah, tune in for some ham sandwich uh, chat. <laughs> and Anton is saying he didn't realize the name had stuck. Uh, yeah, I think David is a big fan of the name Ham Sandwich. Yeah, I'm a big name. Of, I'm a big fan of any nicknames. Um, ham sandwich. <laughs> Ham wallet, <laughs> anything, <laughs> anything really. Um, ooh, so, ooh, yeah, I've managed. I've managed to win a piece. Um, I've just started the stream. Oh dear, oh dear. Did you really say you just started the stream? No, I, I thought started you said something. Just... I thought you said something that rhymes with started. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've managed to win a piece by expanding in the center. I had the two bishops, which I'd always recommend to get if you have a semi-open position. Um, because the two bishops come to life later, and my bishops are re creating havoc. At the and Vlad also has a, a friend club. Someone's already on Team Vlad for your impending match. So. <gasps> Team Vlad? Cat Rocket Moo, I thought we were friends, man. <laughs> What's going on? And uh, Danger Mouse is asking, is Keith part of the team, or is routinely not just pictures with a glass of wine? No, team. Uh, Keith is one of the oldest members of the team. He was already on the team when I joined. Um, sadly, he's not coming to Novi Sad with us because he's playing some senior world championship somewhere, which is a pity, but he was in the European Club Cup with us just last year. And um, I absolutely love Keith, and I hope to do a stream with him someday as well. I actually... Yeah. Sorry, need to get him set up uh, for that but yeah that would be great yeah i mean everyone loves keith he's one of the nicest guys in chess and uh, i'm not just saying that i mean he's got a lot of fans out there on the british chess scene and he's one of the most active players i think he's even playing right now um in gatwick quite near me mm -hmm. um in a in a tournament so um yeah unfortunately he can't be there but he'll be there in spirit last year he came along with us to macedonia for the european uh, club cup and he he, you know, he's one of the bravest players on the team. He was playing on despite having a horrible toothache mm -hmm. um, throughout the event. So, um, yeah, he's a dedicated member of the team. And we'll miss the social side with him there as yeah. well. So. But then we have Simon. I mean, ideally next year for the European Club Cup, we will have both Simon and Keith. Um, because they are both legends of not just English chess, but chess, just yeah. chess legends. They're just... They're just general legends <laughs> and uh, also catch rocket Moo is pointing out when he said good luck flat that was for the last gm no not for your impending match oh good uh, we can be friends again then <laughs> um but yeah hopefully i mean it's it's long overdue his last grandmaster norm his understanding is uh far beyond grandmaster level so hopefully maybe in serbia i'm not sure if it will be possible there but in the near future Grandmaster, Grandmaster Ham Sandwich. Everyone wants to see that, don't they? So thank you, Redfish Finder, for the game. Uh, nice tactic to checkmate there at the end. I think and I'm on the verge of being um, sleep drunk, like punch drunk. Punch drunk, yeah. And is Vlad there now? And we've just started a new game with Trick or Chew. 
Okay. He's 2700 player, so he's putting his rating on the line to play us. We're, we're now... Fiona, today we've gained 300 rating points of yeah. Blitz. And tomorrow I'll be streaming with Mikey. And I'll just <laughs> so this time down. tomorrow, if you guys want to tune in for Fiona going on tilt and losing <laughs> all of my hard-earned 300 rating points, then uh, <laughs> feel free. Oh, he's trolling me. He's gone one knight c3 and two a3. What is this Patsa doing? So oh, for man. those of you not aware, this is now David against Vlad, or Vlad against David, brother. This, this is grudge match. Grudge <laughs> match. <laughs> They oh, have I a lot of history. I hate so this guy. I'm, I'll just let you do some commentary. I'll sit back. Oh, <laughs> look at these it. terrible chess moves. Like, what is he doing? Does he not understand chess? <laughs> like, oh, let's, let's see things safe. He's basically, Vlad, anytime he wins, he's like the happiest guy in the world. If he loses, it was because of a mouse slip or... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punish him. I wonder, Positionally. He, I wonder if he's listening to us while he plays. But I, I hope he's listening to us so you can hear me trash talk the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and Mick Lopping is asking if Vlad is a real IM. He is. Uh, his rating is close to 2,500 again now. He has two GM norms, so hopefully he will be. I mean, he was above 2,500. So as soon as he gets uh, his last norm, he will be a full kit GM. Yeah, uh, he'll be a. He'll be a grown-up. He'll be a real boy. <laughs> um, yeah, and sorry, Redfish Finder, for losing you that one rating point. I do actually feel slightly guilty now. But I'm sure you can get back to 1,500. Just keep playing. Keep practicing. That sounded patri patronizing. Sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> we needed that one rating point. We needed that one rating point. I'm literally going to pass out soon. So, yeah, guys, donate if you want to watch Fiona pass out live on camera and we can just laugh and mock. I hope the music... <laughs> oh, no, the music is very cool. Uh, um, I can't tell if that music is a good thing or not. There is literally no one now apart from the concierge and I... Maybe maybe you should shut up the concierge, you know. Maybe, maybe you can teach us, teach us guys how to flirt. He's not a... There, there is one, I think who quite likes me he upgraded my room and now every oh. day when he sees me he's like oh how Must are you how is your day no, no, no. Must be love. but he's not there. Oh. must be love could you be love <laughs> but i was really in the mood to sing tonight but with all this jazz music going on i don't feel like i could do it justice <laughs> actually yesterday the music was different so every night is going to be an adventure of what it's going to be I Chess for Schlaft. Yes, it's oh, sorry. No, you say. No, you go. I was talking rubbish. Oh, and Anna. Has Vlad trapped my knight? <gasps> sorry, carry on. <laughs> no. Boom. I'm going to checkmate this Patsa. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I was about to say a bad word there. Oh, I love beating this, this punk. Oh, let's go. Let's go spectacular. Boom. Oh, psh, psh. like if you guys on the chat, if you were in a real crowd, you should be showering the board with gold coins right now. Like, look at this. Rook takes c3. Boom. Just, oh, oh, oh. I'm so aroused right now by this chest. Oh. I think that's why we needed Vlad on the show, and we're going to keep this match uh, going for a while. I think it might bring out the best in David, so hopefully... Oh, that... guys, guys, guess the move. I'm just going to leave it until I have one second left on the clock now, just to <laughs> just to troll him. Oh, boom. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm, yeah, as you can probably tell, this has been the highlight of my night. Okay, oh, let's wow. just get this over with and you okay. play many more games. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, mate. Sorry, Bob. Sorry, Vlad. Let's play one more with Vlad and then maybe we'll play any of the rest of you if you do want to challenge us. Uh, and here we go. What shall I play? Okay, guys in the chat, choose an opening quickly. The first one to say a the move. The first we'll, to point play. out uh, an opening for white will be first played. First to point out an opening Hurry for up. white will be played. Uh, and not resign. Thank you, Super Patsa. I'm not that much of a Patsa. Okay. That's all control. Come on, guys. 
H3A3. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, why did I agree to that? I mean, I beat Fiona with this the other day, but... <laughs> and now H3. Yeah, oh, H3 G5, he's improved his position. Okay, now I'm just playing normal chess. H3 is positional. Uh, Morton wants you to play the King's Gambit, and Morton has been our main benefactor. So if you ever get the chance to go E4, E5, then you okay. have to play F4. Maybe if we can manuf manufacture that somehow with Trickachu, if he's tuning in. If he can play E5, King's Gambit, let's bounce, let's tango. Yes. I, will, uh, I will send him a message, actually. So, Vlad has gone C5, so now we see on move 2 when I played A3. That was a wonderful move. So now, if I have... Okay, I say wonderful move, he's probably going to win the pawn back. But yeah, if he'd gone Queen A5 check, B4 could be played. So A3 on move 2 is a double exclamation mark move. And you know, I just logged on to Facebook um, to send Vlad a message, and I, your message popped up. The last message you sent to me was... Um, the last message he sent to me was, shall we quit with dignity? This was when I couldn't get my shit together and get the stream started. Yeah. Fiona think... can rarely get her shit together. But... <laughs> David wanted to call it quits, but I think it's a good thing we managed to keep it rolling because it's been a lot of fun. I can't believe we've been here for almost four hours. No, three, yeah, three we've been half. rolling. Yeah, so... Oh my gosh. I, I literally, I was supposed to have dinner with my mum and my sister. And then they went out. I said, oh, I'll join you about eight o'clock. I'll join you about eight o'clock. Now it's 9.45. And like, they're probably sitting there wondering, like, where is he? He'll be here any minute. They were like, oh my gosh. I'm just literally the worst sibling ever. Like, worst family member ever. And it's all because of you guys for donating. And so then, thank you. And then they are going to watch the stream when I put it up on YouTube. And they'll be like, he let us down for this? For oh this no. Crap? <laughs> oh, don't put the stream on. I can't. My mom can't see that those photos of me. Like. Actually, uh, your people again. If you joined later or something, uh, I have created my own YouTube channel, and that is just in my own name, Fiona Steel Anthony. And as soon as the stream is over, I will upload it immediately, so you can re-watch it there in its entirety. That is correct. I highly recommend checking out her YouTube channel. Twitter, everything. Yeah. Fionn Ketter. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> no, my Twitter is probably the least fun Twitter but ever. You have, I literally. You have become sorry. more active, which is great. Yeah, I feel peer pressured into it. I mean, I've got you on one side. I've got like all my social media savvy friends on the other side. I've got like all these chess players tweeting. I mean, Nigel Short's got like twenty grand, twenty thousand followers. I mean. <laughs> I feel bad. I mean, the, th the problem is I don't have anything funny ever to say or anything deep or wise or profound. So if you want to follow my Twitter, feel free. But you might just be seeing silly pictures of Fiona on there. So right. Probably. Probably. Let's castle. I mean, I'm going to get checkmated on this side. but Oh, well, that's life. And my inbox is bursting. I mean, I get an inbox for every subscription as well as a donation, but I have 32 emails, which is a good sign. So thanks wow. a million to you guys for subscribing, for donating. Um, it's been another overwhelming night. Like when we started for the first five or ten minutes, I think there were just three of us. Anton was here, you were here, and I was here. <laughs> And I think that was about it when we started. Yeah. Up. Uh, so thanks for sticking around. It's really been uh, great fun. Yeah, thank you everyone, thank you. And I noticed Chester Schlaft is disappointed in me. I'm not sure why. I mean, maybe it's because I struggle with monogamy. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry, I'm sure we can work something out, you know. Um, I'm sure this could be a beautiful, mutually beneficial relationship. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking so much nonsense. It's been such a long day and now I'm playing chess and it's... Ah. Oh, H4, checkmate's coming. <laughs> the attack is coming. I mean, my bishop on f1 is probably the most depressed piece in Britain right now. But h4, I'm gonna checkmate this punk. He thinks he knows how to play chess. But... Oh, look at that! No understanding. Let me activate my rook. <laughs> I'm just trash talking. Sorry, guys. Look at that beautiful rook. Beautiful open file. This jazz music is making me feel so sleepy and relaxed. 
I could literally just lie down here and you can do the chess. I mean, I just need to stop the stream when we're done and that's about it. <laughs> oh, Fiona, you know what's going to happen. It's going to come like one minute before we're about to finish and someone's going to donate and you're going to have to stay here another 20 hours. You're going to have to live in that lobby. So it's not... going to have to marry the concierge. <laughs> It's 13 minutes now until we supposedly stop. <laughs> I'm sort of starting thing. <laughs> oh, look at this positional beauty. Oh, look at this. The look at those knights. Where's the win? Oh, he thinks he can shoot me. <laughs> he, can, he can jog on. Look at that. Look at this positional beauty. This masterpiece. I'm not even going to try and win. I'm just going to put my piece on outposts look at this uh where's the checkmate here look at this i'm just gonna bring my pieces oh look at all my pieces compared to his oh trick or you come back come back another time man when you learn maybe study my games a bit and then come back <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> and, and go vin so where go vin <laughs> thank you for the opening suggestion that worked like a treat Thank you. And Hyone, I agree, this is some 80s porn And I think Hyone, I think this is his first con contribution to the chat, and quite a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, I would say more 70s porn. I mean, not that I'm a big expert, but 80s seems a bit... I mean, 80s would be slightly more electronic music. Oh, dear, dear. So what's happening? Do we have more challenges? So, um, Vlad has re tried to offer me a rematch, which <laughs> I can't decide whether to accept or not. Um, I don't think we have any more challenges at the moment, so... So let's just play Vlad again. Vladdy baby. Okay, I accidentally rejected his rematch, so let's do this. <laughs> oh, I never feel very ladylike when I'm yawning. Do you manage to keep... Uh handsome face when you yawn me yeah yeah i i do my old blue steel while i yawn like... <laughs> yeah it works like a treat uh here we go king's gambit let's do this okay so vlad he has tell him send him a message before it oh king, he king's must gambit have, he must have been listening he must have been listening bob thank you vlad uh, i mean i would I will donate these rating points back to you, sorry. Oh, knight <laughs> f6. What is that move? What? I mean, I've been playing chess for 20 years, and I don't think I've ever seen that move before. Let's take this. I mean, I know moving my king is probably clever in a king's gambit. Expected. My wow. Are you falling asleep, Fifi? <laughs> Fiona's literally laughing at nothing. That is, that's the sign that she's tired. I've seen this before. <laughs> Look at her giggling away. In a second. She's <laughs> giggling away for no reason. The sun just came into the lobby and looked at me as if I was a complete lunatic. I'm playing a King's Gambit and I've swapped off Queens by move seven. <laughs> this is I'm the worst. So bad. I'm the worst. Oh, <laughs> Mick Lopping is saying, did you know chess was originally invented to keep people from having sex? Um, we've already established he's a troll, but I think uh, he's yeah, I mean, making that a valid point. <laughs> he's making a valid point. I mean, that's, you know, that's why I took up chess, to help me abstain to marriage. Yeah, I'm still saving myself for the one. So. Are we allowed to say these kind of things on... Um, <laughs> You know, you said we needed to put it to like adult chat or something. Yeah, I think we can get away with it if we keep it to every now and then. Yeah, keep it to just a bit of innuendo <laughs> rather than full blown. Full blown wham bam. Thank you. <laughs> so I think I'm slightly better in this end game. And I think my end game skills are going to win the day. Look at that king on e8. It's so much unhappier than the. Beast on F2. The rook is coming to E1 now. Oh, look at it. This is beautiful. Look at those bishops, Fiona. What do you think? 
Amazing. Are you are you in love? Are you in awe? Amazing. Stop. Uh, um, yes. I'm speechless. You're speechless. <laughs> Should I sacrifice a pawn? You never sacrifice a pawn. See, I just sacrifice C2. He can take it if he wants. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not going to because he's, because uh, he's dull, dull as dishwater. <laughs> I'm going to get f get jiggy, get jiggy with him. Da, na, 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 na. Get jiggy with him. Do you know that song, Will Smith? I know that song, but it sounds weird when you're singing that <laughs> along, <laughs> like with jazz music as a backing track. <laughs> But yesterday, yesterday the mu it was also music without um, uh, li lyrics, without voices. Uh, inst the... Instrumental. Instrumental, but it was like pop songs, instrumentals. Oh wow! It was like Jesse J and John Legend and stuff. Like Did you know that, that Jesse J wants to kiss me on the cheek? <laughs> no. You, you didn't know this? You no, know, I do know because oh, you, you told know. me about it a million times. <laughs> I really told. Yeah, I haven't told the world a million times. That's why. Yeah. Oh, everyone, Jessie J once kissed me on the cheek when I was 12, and she was about 14, 15. We were on the same TV show together, and it was like, I fell in love immediately, but un unfortunately she didn't reciprocate my feelings. So. Yeah, it could have been, what could have been? Could have been beautiful. Okay. She could have been the one. What, hap <laughs> what happens if she was the one, and for the, oh, why did I play rookie six check? That was silly of me. Yeah, imagine if she was the one, and for like, for the last... 13 years of my life and I just Anna, I, I, I let her slip through my fingers Anams is calling bullshit on you actually hmm? Anams is calling oh. bullshit on you oh, call bullshit if you want search it search it Jessica Cornish that's her original name her real name before she became Jessie J actually I might try and find that photo that I have with her yeah next time we stream next time we stream yeah Oh, right, we so look like a couple we anyway. have five minutes left, so I think you should give someone a game. <laughs> and then I will upload the stream to YouTube <laughs> okay. to bed. <laughs> okay, does anyone want to play me, or am I having to play Trick or Chew one last time? Uh, challenge now or forever hold your... Piss, peace. <laughs> you always struggle with this one, don't yeah. you? What is like, it? Because in, in other languages it's... Forever hold your peace. But in other in other languages I know, it's just my... forever shut up, basically. Okay, but like, just remember it this way. Like my, I think it was my French teacher when I was in primary school. He used to say, "Kids, uh, speak now or forever hold your piss." Like if ah. we need to go to the toilet, uh -huh. we need to go to the toilet, or yeah. Yeah, I so, remember that. Yeah, he used to say that like before classes or before exams and things. So. <laughs> And uh, anyway. Catch Rocket Moo has said something really funny because I said we will stop in five, and that also answers Morton questions. We will <laughs> stop in five minutes unless someone donates another 50 euros. Like, I think you can donate 50 euros if you want to watch Fiona sleep. Like, I'll, I'll keep playing Blitz. I don't find, I'll, like, I'll survive. Like, but I think Fiona's on the verge of passing out. And uh, what I was going to say is Catch Rocket Moo said, was it all about the money, money, money? <laughs> It's all about the money. <laughs> Wait, oh. And then I said, we don't need your money, money, money. We just want to <laughs> make the word blitz. <laughs> Forget about the uh, shadow trip. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is beautiful. That was beautiful. Yeah. Anyone who wants to sing that song properly should listen or should watch Pitch Perfect, the movie, one of my favorite movies. So, yeah, Anna Kendrick. Um, Michael O. <laughs> o. Super Lurker. Yes, super, I am. Super Petzo is saying, I thought Jesse J was a lesbian. <laughs> is this what they did to her? Probably. I mean, it wouldn't be the only girl that I've turned to the other side, to the dark side, but. Um, um, yeah. Uh, that is. Okay. <laughs> right. Fortunately, so, one last game, and off we go. <laughs> One last game. It looks like it might have to be against our friend Vlad, because nobody else wants to play me, and I'm very sad about that. Here we go. One last game. Can I keep my 100% record? Today? How many how many rating points have you stolen off Vlad? I've stolen 
Oh my god, we're up a lot. I've stolen. <laughs> oh gosh, about 75 rating points off him already. So it's about 25 per game that he's lost. I think we've gained more than he's lost. So we gained 42 for winning that last game. Yeah. I'm, now, I'm now up to 24.38. I've gained 430 <laughs> points in this stream. <laughs> I wonder how many of those I can lose tomorrow. Probably quite a right. few. Right, guys. Oh, and uh, is saying, that's a good point. I can play against you one game. Uh, Why didn't I think of that earlier? Shall I abort this one with Vlad? Yeah, okay. <laughs> or shall I, okay, let's shall I abort it? Play, the, no, pl play it, and then we'll okay. play the last one. We'll play one get last game, and then we're saying, what's the transvestite opening? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez. F5 on move 1. This guy is a troll. Stop yawning! I can't believe there's still 65 people watching us. Yeah, wow. Thank you guys. I know it's a Saturday night and I know a lot of you uh, probably have, better things to do. have, <laughs> yeah, have more Maybe. To, to do, but thanks for sticking with us. And thank you for the donators. I mean, they kept us here they keep us going they motivate us and, and also i have i'm really sorry to everyone who donated that your name uh, that the thing up there the donation um what do you call it donation bar is not up to date it's still from the 12 hour chat and but i will talk to vlad tomorrow and he will help me to sort it all out i think you might need to counsel like give him some counseling as well after this beating i've given him like i mean he might need cheering up so <laughs> And someone is asking, Redfish Finder is asking, Fiona, are your girlfriends chess people as well, or is it your... What? Actually... As we all know, Fiona loves go girls, so... Um. <laughs> David once uttered uh, the theory... Uttered, is that a word? Yeah, uttered. Uttered the theory that I hate all girls, which is not quite true. <laughs> It's mostly true, though. Mostly um, true. So first of all, I'm not on Instagram. I tried it for a couple of days, and then I decided I post way too much nonsense on Facebook as it is. So I deleted my account. Um, but it's true, I don't have so many girlfriends, actually. I mostly hang out uh, with just guys. <laughs> yeah, she loves a grandmaster. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> Sorry, that was silly of me. No, I'm just joking. No, but um, ever since I was young, uh, I probably don't look like a toy boy. But uh, when I was yet when I was in primary school during the breaks, I would always play football with the guys. So um, I've yeah, just always in general gotten on better with guys. I love football, for example. So I'd much rather be in the watching football than drinking tea and shooting selfies for Instagram. Yeah. She is she is a bit of a camera fiend sometimes. A what? But a camera fiend, like you're just running around with your camera. Uh -huh. But I think if you had Instagram, it would make it ten times worse. So. Yeah. Um, do I sacrifice a pawn here? I'm in a <laughs> sacrificial mood. Chess for start is saying she doesn't just hang out with GMs. IMs are okay too. Yeah, well, so yeah. That's yeah. basically it. IMs, GMs, and Mikey G. Yeah. I mean, if you're an IM or Mikey G, you have to have some potential though. You have to have a good understanding and very quick hands for the bullet and blitz <laughs> skills. <laughs> she only hangs out with people um, extremely quick hands. It really hands. is getting very late. <laughs> um, on the scale from 1 to 10, a question from Small Fluffy Rodent, and I think that's also his first contribution to the chat. On a scale of 1 to 10, how awesome was it to host with Simon Williams? No answer below to 8 will be accepted. Well, of course I'll go with 10, uh, even if it wasn't for the peer pressure or anything. I think and I think people can also tell that when they watch Simon and I uh, do either commentary or Fiona and Simon show together. Of course it's different if we do serious commentary um, or if we do a stream on here, but the basic thing is we get on very well, we have great chemistry. Um, yeah, so... the chemistry is electric, you know. It's just... <laughs> and every time the music goes off, oh no, Morton! Okay, I'm no, on don't tell me. now. That's why I'm he... Pat's face. What's happened? I'll make I'm David bits, I cry look. like a little girl. Has he done, uh, Morton, have you done what I think you've done? <laughs> are you... Are you <laughs> I can't tell if this is the nicest thing ever or the meanest thing ever. 
And he, but the good thing is, he is now on chess 24. So we will be able to finally play more. He knows games. we're on tilt. He knows so we're on tilt. So I, I, su I suggest. You give more than a half an hour non-stop beating. I'm, I'm going to have to text my mum and my sister <laughs> to to say that I'm not going to be back. I'm not going to be around. More than seriously, thank you so very much. Like I literally feel bad. I feel I feel bad. <laughs> thank you, Morton. Oh, uh, I. I'm... You know what I'm going to do. I'm going. What are you going to do? I've taken off my shoes already. I'm going to have a little nap. Ah, I've got 18 seconds. <laughs> Why are oh you my play? <laughs> Jen is literally napping on the screen. But now the chat is so far away, but luckily I have good eyes. So I can see it. And someone's oh, saying... I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. <laughs> Blazero is saying, baby boy, you need to watch what you say in the future. And I think he's referring to this grand idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And Morton is saying, uh, what? I'm going to make Fionchetta fall asleep and David cry like a little girl. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm just going to beat this punk. Ah, I've run out of time. I, was, I spent 30 seconds looking at the chat after the donation, waiting <laughs> to see what, what it was. <laughs> oh, thank you, Morton. That's really kind of you. And I'm going to have to ruin this game because oh, he finally got me. He finally got me. I think I was doing okay earlier. There we go. We can watch Fiona sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Morton, yeah, you're paying everyone's you're paying for everyone's entertainment, you know. Drinks should be on them, you know. They should be thanking you. Clothes are coming off, Jay Ra Jay Craven. Um Actually yeah. clothes can't come off because I heard that if you show a nipple, can I say a nipple? Can I nipple? Say nipple? Like what what you mean one of these? One of <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. I didn't. I right. heard that if you show a nipple, you get banned from Twitch. Yeah, I heard this too. No free the nipple. Free no the nipple. free the nipple. Thank ban, you, Morton. Um, ban the nipple. Ban and, the nipple. Uh, in the donation, he gave us his username, but I couldn't quite hear it. So, Morton, if you could please either send your challenge to Team Jadleton yeah. or, or if post, you just... post your username in the chat and David yeah. will find you. Okay, I'm literally... I'm, you have to talk for a moment, Fiona. I'm texting my mum and my sister. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I think they've been waiting for me for two hours anyway. Uh, so, what's been happening? We started the stream almost four hours ago now. <laughs> and I this is crazy. <laughs> and Blazaro is asking Fiona, is this a continuous stream till Wednesday? <laughs> it could turn out that way. Right. I mean, if we, might have to, we might have to take naps. And oh no, no, Frederick. Make just... it another hour. Oh, no. What's happened? What's happened? <laughs> no, Frederick just donated 50 euros. Oh my god, another hour. I can't do this anymore. I, I... Fiona, just sleep on camera. We'll just like we'll just watch you sleep. <laughs> It'll be beautiful. Okay guys. Um thank you so very much for the donation. The concierge is starting giving me weird looks. <laughs> so what's going to happen? Is we will stream until one, one my time, which is one hour from now, and you're still allowed to oh donate, but less than fifty <laughs> because the show will stop at one o'clock because I can't do it. Oh my god! But also remember, David won't be there in the next four days, but I'm going to be. I'll be streaming every day for the next four days, so you can torture me again and again. But for me to be able to stream again tomorrow, I need to sleep in an hour. So keep your donations coming, <laughs> but for less than 50 euros. <laughs> I don't know. I can do another 50 euros. We'll just watch Fiona sleep. We'll watch together and I'll commentate on her sleeping. It's fine. Um, Anton squared me. I will not tell my sister you said hi. <laughs> I mean, you're not the first chess player to ask me that. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, David shows a nipple. Anton gets ready to fire up Photoshop. Oh, and, I didn't uh, free. I didn't free my nipple. If any moderators are watching, I nearly did. I just Mort freed. I freed some neck. You know. <laughs> Morton is saying I can probably get the money back from my room, which is true. <laughs> I could just spend the next five days living in the lobby, probably. 
And uh, Just Bias is asking you how it feels to lose to a ballpoint mouse. <laughs> this is, yeah, I, I kind of figured he was playing on uh, a <laughs> dying computer. Um, it feels bad to lose on a ballpoint mouse, but I was probably, I, if I was concentrating, I would have beaten you 4-0, so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, no, I remember ballpoint mouses. I, I had one on my first ever laptop, but uh, yeah, that's impressive that you managed to play any moves with them, let alone let alone survive about 20 moves with me. So, King of Endgame is back. What the <laughs> heck? You guys were logging off two hours ago. We're still streaming because these guys are killing us with their kindness and generosity. And wow. Well, <laughs> and just for start is saying I only had two hours of sleep last night and now I have to watch this stream. Feels bad, man. <laughs> yeah, you'll survive. <laughs> like you can't be yeah, we'll moan on your behalf. We'll moan on your <laughs> Don't worry. Um I'm wondering, is Morton can you let us know in your name in the in the chat? Like are you Pat McPat's face? Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> You are Pat's yeah. face. Yeah. Let's go. Should we play hand and brain or should we just play? Yeah, let's play hand and brain before play... I fall asleep. <laughs> before Fiona... Let's play Fiona's last couple of games before she properly passes out. I and mean, you could see her getting ready there. Um, uh, if he goes e4, we'll go e5. And I reckon he'll play a game with Gambit. I think he played. Um... Uh... <laughs> and he's telling you to get your tissues out. Tissues out. <laughs> get my tissues out. I mean, our I game think... won't be that. That arousing, will it? <laughs> I like that expression. Like it's very double, uh, double. Pawn, pawn, pawn. Oh, yeah, pawn. exactly. Okay, pawn. You want to go e5? Yeah. You went f4. Uh, like a real man. Pawn. I never usually take, so I'll have to improvise. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Uh, what's happening? I'm trying to read the chat from far away. I don't You'll know. Pon, pon, pon. Let's just sack everything. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> the diapers. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Pon. Oh, this jazz music's chilling me the right out. Like, I'm loving it. Maybe I should just move here and stream from here for the rest of my life. You should. Morton. Oh, he's going to crush us. He's going to crush us. Anamp says, tissues out is the gentleman's expression. Yes. Oh, Queen H5. He's trying to murder us. Um, I can't think. Hmm. Look at her poor face, this concentrating face. Oh, look at it. Look at how cute it is. Night. 